It's been raining all afternoon and like at, at times it's been raining like mad without stopping. Like honestly it's been such a dead day. I haven't done anything. Well something this morning, but that's that's about it. It's just such a lousy freaking day. Alright, so uh, this is where we stopped last time. We are we just stopped uh, after I finished my first visit to Viper Castle, Viper Manor. And now we are uh, supposed to find a cure for kid who got poisoned. So that was the very last thing we've done. And now let's search for the poison cure. Actually, I think we went past this scene last time. I don't, I don't know why it's showing up again. Oh, right. That's because of the autosave. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. It's because of the autosave. So this is Mama. This is Korcha's Mama. And I think you can actually... Yeah, you can recruit her later as well, of course. In this game, you can recruit most of the important characters. But I don't know why Kid is actually standing up. Isn't she supposed to be poisoned? That's weird. Maybe she's gonna drop down in a moment. Give your thanks to Korcha. He's the one that saved us after we fell off the cliff. I was sweat. It's all part of my job as a ferryman. But I have to admit, you caught me by surprise when you came falling from the sky. You're lucky it was the sea that cha fell into another rock. I love this guy and the way he talks. Oh, what, oh. But jeez, you're such a wuss. How could you get knocked out from such a short fall? Oh! Yeah, in before, as for me, a little grace like this ain't gonna. <laughs> yeah, I, I love that. Talking about how much of a she is and then she falls down. But this is kind of weird, like, I don't remember this part. I, re I remember her being poisoned, but I didn't remember this, like, small part over here when she's still standing up on her two legs. Ah, there's the dog, guys. The good old dog. Since the patient has been poisoned with hydrovenom, I would say the most she has to live is about two days. If we had some hydrohumor, we would be able to neutralize the poison. But we don't have it, right? Doc, if you find this hydrohumor, we can save the girl? Yeah, but that's impossible now. Hydros are now extinct on El Nido. So for those of you who paid attention to the game, what does that mean? If they're extinct now, they are not extinct in the other alternate timeline, right? So now, it's time for our first crossing over to the real world, where they are not extinct just yet. Hydros are very rare and valuable creatures. The blood, bones, meat, every part is valuable. It's considered to be a panacea for various illnesses. That's our reason Hydros were hunted to extinction in El Nido. As a result, a whole species has been made extinct, and all just to make a quick... F I mean, that's what's happening in the real world as well, so... Is there no way to find this humor? If we could cross the sea to the mainland, there might be a chance, right? That is not possible. The currents of El Nido are extremely dangerous this time of year. It would be futile to try to cross the sea unless you were on a large vessel. Even if you manage to get there, your chances of finding hydro humor are bleak. We do not have much time. Say your, say your goodbyes. <clears throat> but this dock is very general, quite depressing, I remember that. Until you reach a certain point in the game. Hey doc, where are you going? Nothing's been resolved yet. Excuse me, I need to be alone for a while. He just gave up. I mean, I, I can understand from his point of view. He knows Hydra's like extinct. There's no way to find a cure, son. What are we gonna do? Kira's going to die if we leave her like this. Is this some kind of a joke? Wait right here. I'll go get the dog back. But I think we're gonna have to make a decision now. What's up? Who the hell are you? Don't you know any manners? Oh, is that Harley actually? Oh, yes, yeah, Harley who somehow found us. You remember Harley? She, we, we encountered her in Viper Manor last time. She's part of the Lynx gang. She's her. She's his right hand lady. She's down for the count, just as I thought. Sash, mon ami, why don't we just leave her be? Who are you? And what's with that strange costume? Asks Korcha. Says I <laughs> have no business with no z chicken hawk. I'm having a conversation with her. They're bothering Moa, 
So keep your mouth shut. You know who Kocha reminds me of? Of Bart Simpson. I don't know why. Like, to me, he's kind of like Bart Simpson of this game. I'm gonna latch a badge into this room and get away with all the stuff you said. You made me mad, I'll show you some manners. I'm not gonna catch you in this life just because you're a girl. Try if you dare, I'm not so weak as to be caught by a chicken hawk. Oh, she just goes invisible and spawns in a different part of the room. Damn it, where did she go? <coughs> I was only here to see how she was doing, but I had fun while I was in. So long, Serge. Au revoir, mon ami. Please dream of me every night. Oui. I love, I love that she's combining French-English. Yo, Serge, are all of your friends like that? Serge has like one friend. And that's Lena, before he left for the journey. I mean, he's got friends now, but they are more friends because of necessity in a way. Not because of... <clears throat> Anything else? Serge, I'll leave this with you. It's my favorite amulet. I think that's the one to cross the dimensions, right? Remember what the prophet said, Serge. Where did it all start? Where do angels lose their way? Try to remember, Serge. So when I was a kid, uh, of course there was no internet or any way of actually knowing what all this means. I didn't know what it means, like where it all started. So I, I, I think I, at first I went back to the village. Then I went to a place where I uh, saw Lena and so on and so on. Until I realized that the place where you actually need to go is the Opasa beach because that's where the first incident actually occurred. That's where we first crossed to another dimension. But yeah, the times without the internet, guys. The times without the internet. They sound... They seem so f dis in the distant past now because they are, but still. You heard what the doc said, there, there's no more hydras in this world. On top of that, there's no way to get to the main, mainland, and El, and El Nido isn't a smaller place. I, guys, I need to change my pants. I spilled my water all, all over my pants, and I'm like waiting for it to dry, but then I'm gonna get some sort of illness, so back in a moment. You know what, I'm just gonna put on my pajamas. Okay, PJ time. Couldn't be asked to find another set of pants. But this one is gonna do anyway. <laughs> no, it's it's very, very normal PJs. No TOS breaks. Are you gonna take one in a million chance to search for this thing just to save a girl you barely even know? Oh wait guys, this was which oh guys, so this was a hard decision. Like I think if you if you click that you don't know, then I think Korcha is going to join you and, you and you do something. If you decide to not save, if you decide to save her, I think you then you get Glenn. Um, I think I'm gonna find a way to save her. Because I wanna get Glenn in my team. Oh wait, no, it's not like... Oh crap! Korcha actually comes with me. But where is he? He's not in my team though. Uh, I'll take, I'll take, I'll take Poshul, I'll take Poshul. Oh my god, the team. Serge Pierre Pachoul. Jeez, the dream team. I mean, PJs are quite comfy to stream in rooms. Why not? By the way, do you even have a clue where to start looking? Hey, do ya? Nope. Where in the world should we start? All we have left is that girl's amulet. What are we gonna do? If only we had some kind of a clue. Wait, is she gonna tell us something? Maybe you should go see the shaman. The shaman might be able to give you some clues from that amulet. Ah. Cypher? The shaman. You know what? I played this game in the late 90s first. I didn't really know English then. I always like, I like to think about, because I forgot what it was. How did I, 
How did I understand what was being said all the time? Maybe I didn't. Maybe that's why I struggled often in kids, in as as a kid in playing these kind of video games, and they were all hard for me because I didn't know what, what many of these things mean, and I was always stuck like just looking in my own because I couldn't follow the clues. Maybe. Mama, mama, I can't go to school because she doesn't have a point of English. So that she doesn't know. They're like a major of chief, and it, there was no Google Translate, so I couldn't even do it like that. The shaman might know something, although I can't say for sure. It's worth a try. We'll continue this outside. Let's decide what to do on the boat. Play hard more now. Put it in German. <laughs> I would be able to translate it using the Google Translator at least. So there's that. Ta 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 ta. Same. Huh? What's happening? Is that Doc coming back? Oh, Luna from Mel's place. Ah, uh, Mel is his sister, I think. But I, I, I think Mel is not actually recruitable. Don't know. I don't think I found a way to recruit her before. Also, that was not just a cat. That was an illusionary cat. I was played games in Spanish before. I, yeah, you had, the, you had the option of doing that though. We, there was no option for me. Like, there was no creation. That's the closest to Portuguese, so I would understand. Yeah, like, lucky. You had a language that you could understand, so it wasn't that big of a problem, thankfully. You need to get going as soon as possible, but you probably need to equip yourself, right? I'll be waiting here. Call me when you're ready to go. We haven't got so much time, so hurry. Okay, I wanna see the shaman. I wanna see the shaman before I go, because I think she's gonna give me some advice. And also, if I got some money, I, will, I would like to buy some of my... Let me see. What is that? Exchange rate. Which goods do you want to trade for me? Aha, so I can replace... Aha, I can replace like... Punk and four elements, okay. Oh, guys, I get the second part of the skelly. Pelvic bone. So that's another part of skelly. So I got, I got the body, I got the pelvic bone now. I think I need a few more pieces. Let me see, are they selling something good? I got how much money I got? I got 6,699. Let me see. So... This is an upgrade, right? Yeah, this is an upgrade. So Copper Swallow goes with me. Uh, oh, this is crafting! Which means I can't actually craft everything. Okay, that kind of sucks, to be honest. What about armor? Accessories? Armor? I don't have the mats for that. Disassemble weapons, bone eggs. I'm not gonna disassemble anything just yet. It's kind of risky. And also understood what the enemies in Reservoir say since... Oh yeah, they do talk in Spanish. They do, yeah. I don't like it. I mean, the game is set in Spain. So it's, it's kind of really nice that they actually talk in Spanish. Even though you, you play the game in English, they still talk in Spanish. Kind of like that. Have you cross? Have you come across something? Have you come across a shiny material? What is that? Elements are common items nowadays, but there's a special kind of called summon elements. This kind of releases awesome power based on one of the six attributes. Shiny material is a mysterious byproduct of this phenomenon. Oh, it's like to summon. It's like like the guardian forces in Final Fantasy games, right? Okay. Ah. <laughs> uh, Poor old dog, drown drowning his sorrows in alcohol. And that life is about to slip through my hands, just like before. Studying medicine changed nothing at all. Man, I am so powerless. Orla, so are you going to just give up on this life? That's not the case, is it? If you do, who else will help her back from the age of life and death? I don't know your past. Living bound by the past is a very painful thing. You need to face reality head on. Running away isn't a sin, but it accomplishes nothing. This game has like always has some deep me messages to it. Like, for most of the characters, there's no like dumb characters. Everyone tries to say something. Everyone tries to say something, something smart most of the time. If we give up now, you will never be freed from your past. You know. Now go. I have done them a discourtesy. I'm a failure as a doctor, but I must do what I can. Thanks, Orla. 
But he threw something away, guys. Okay, he threw something away. Maybe I can pick it up. I don't remember that now. Oh, I can't go in? Ah. I guess I'll, I can go in later and pick whatever he threw in. Whatever he threw on the ground, I should be able to pick up then. I believe the good old shaman is down this way. I know this shaman actually has a has a role to play later on in the game. An important role even, if I'm not mistaken. Is this Mel? Oh no, it's not. The great six dragon descend from the heavens to seal away evil and promise eternal prosperity across the land. Uh huh. I remember the dragons. Don't remember all six of them though. Shy maiden. Welcome to the Dragon Shrine. I'm Stina, a shaman serving village chief and high priestess Diarrhea. Could just be sunflower seed trash. Oh man, I love sunflower seeds. I've been buying them often recently. We actually buy a few of them each time we go to the class and we just eat them between ourselves. Like, <laughs> they're quite an obsession, you know that. So good though, I love it. Presume that you have come to, to the shrine seeking assistance. Please don't hesitate to ask Chief Diarrhea for guidance. Okay, I know it's not diarrhea, but it's kind of funny to say that because his name is quite close to that. Diarrhea. You have a young yet gentle air. Hmm, an odd wind swirls around you. I have heard that such wind barrier bearers appear at times, but... Do you speak the truth? That you are already in this world? Hmm, I see. So that's why you have an odd air about you. As for a way to return to your original world, I do not know. But there are always reasons for such phenomena occur. The land of Genesis, your only key may lie there. The key that connects your world to this one. It is, shall we say, a dimensional distortion of sorts. If events in your world are different from events here, it may be possible to save the girl stricken by Hydra poison, that is, if the extinct Hydra still exists in your world. So they still haven't told you where to go, because that's what I love about this game. They really don't give you that many clues at some points. There are island near dragons. You may have encountered some of this already. The most famous are the island of the sky, earth, and the water dragon, and the ancient ruin for Dragonia that lies to the east. Okay. The key to activate this ruin is the dragon tear. Ah, it was given to our ancestors by the extinct Dragonians as a symbol for friendship. It's been passed down through successive shamans, but we lost it, right? Was stolen away and taken from Galova, I know. Oh, that must, must have been Lynx who stole it. Must have been Lynx who actually stole it. Imagine them after a long day. They, they are like a drug, yes. Exactly, man. They are like a proper drug, yeah. A drug for people who don't use drugs, yes. Yeah, very, very good. I love them. And they're very cheap as well. Like, we buy them over here for like three kunas, which is like... Maybe like 40 cents, maybe. I'm not sure. Wait, I know there's like an NPC over here you can talk to that actually does something, gives you something. Marbio, homeland was demi-humans. You heard that humans and demi-humans lived in harmony on the mainland. Uh -huh. Let me see what they have for sale though. They have... Oh, they have meteorite actually guys. I'm gonna buy two meteorites. And they have gravity blow, which I don't have a single one. Actually, I'm gonna buy one more photon ray and jolt. I have. I'm gonna buy one more jolt, and I'm gonna buy three bushwalkers. Forty cents. Yeah, so I was correct. Yeah, forty cents. They are like very, very cheap, but they can only be found in Lidl over here at least. I haven't found them in Plodin, nor in Kaufland, nor in Tommy. Only in Lidl. Kind of weird, that, but yeah. Okay, let's see what the mom has to say. Oh, hi there. There isn't much here, but feel right at home. Why do we not know her name just yet? That's kind of weird. Which is 80 fairings over there. Well, it's fairly cheap indeed, right? Yeah. And there's actually quite a bit to munch on, so it sounds like you would, you're going to eat it in like two minutes. And generally take a few hours to actually finish that. I mean, unless you just... This is... Unless you just like go crazy on it, but like... Generally, I take my time when I'm eating them. Oh, there's Mel. What? Don't you bother me, I've got to concentrate and concentrate. What you doing? What you doing, kiddo? What's the kiddo doing over here? Is there something to pick up around here maybe or is it like available only later on? I think, I think it might be available only later on sadly. I know there's something to pick up around here. 
And I know she's gonna join the team at one point. Yes, I know she's a child, but she knows how to fight. Which is always a good asset to have. Oh yeah, I'm gonna show you something. This is an easy way to get back to the pier. I love this. It's like you go here outside and you can use the you can use the rope. So you can use this. Check this out now. You kinda jump on it, then you go down to the pier. See oh <laughs> it's very cool. One of the most most fun transportation ways in, in RPG game for sure. The only thing is at the end of it you kinda need to jump off it, I suppose. Else you're going to finish right in the water. Alright, let's go. I'm ready anytime. Are you real sure? Don't you dare to tell me you want to come back later. Think about it carefully. Are you positively sure? Am I oh wait I'm not. You know why? Because I wanna see if the dock is ready. Get zipline and dying light as well? Uh but I played Dying Light a bit, I don't remember Zipline, but then again, I only played it for a couple of hours. <laughs> but yeah, in Dying Light, there's all kind of different ways of travel, so I'm not even surprised. Oh look, he's gonna... Oh, you see, he gave me the green trinkler. I forgot about this. So this is what I need to use in the Hydra marshes now. Nice. Very, very cool. And by the way, he didn't throw anything ever. Look, there's nothing on the floor over here, sadly. Can I speak to her? Welcome, it's a small dial. You finish it offline, such good characters. Ending is kind of eh, personally. Really? But you'll see it for yourself. I will hopefully see it eventually, man. I got so many games to play. I don't know where to start anymore. So I got so many games which I want to do on stream. There's so many games which I want to do off stream. And with my classes, it's like so hard to find the time to play all the games I want. So hopefully I can, um, I don't know, be, be a bit more effective in finishing some of the games. Just don't co make the game easier. Yeah, but it's fun to co-op. Like, we had fun, myself, Chris, and Vivi doing that. We had fun, even though it was only for like four or five hours that we did. But I'm generally not a huge fan of coping the game. I, I enjoy playing with friends, but the thing about coping is that you always depend on somebody else, and somebody else depends on you. And that usually means a lot of waiting for like somebody who is slow, in this case me, because I take my time and I'm slow. And I just, I don't know. <laughs> Just prefer to play the game single player whenever available, but like co op here and there is, can be very fun for sure. Uh, so, we're going back to the mainland now where I think we shall recruit Glenn, if I'm not mistaken. I think Korcha is not going to join the team just yet. If you're gonna co op with me, you're gonna. Yeah, exactly, a lot of players like that, and I just don't wanna do that. I don't wanna keep up. If I wanna go FK for 20 minutes, I'm gonna be FK 20 minutes, I'm gonna watch a YouTube video. But I'm gonna go, like, do something or whatever, you know? I just, yeah, unless I really put off, like, two hours where I'm gonna play for two hours. In the, okay, in that case, it can work. But generally, I'm, like, playing, then YouTubing, then Googling, then this, and reading something on the on news or whatnot. Yeah, keep it. Oh, he's gonna bribe him. Can't bribe him with some. The delicious scent and the subtle texture. This must be the famous rare drinks of the Dragonians. Dragon's glory. That's easy. He didn't even have to bribe him with uh, with money. He just gave him some drink. So we are back to Termina, guys. This is the town where we recruited Guy last time. Not Guy, Pierre. Sorry, not Guy is left in the town. Oh, Korcha joined the team! And it's, it's temporarily done. It's temporarily. Honestly, I think I want to have Korcha instead of... Instead of... Poshul. Korcha is really cool. I'm not a huge fan of his fighting style. But he is very cool, nonetheless. We need to give, equip him with some elements, though. Not sure if he's got any. Yeah, he's got only the headbutt. 
He's only got a head, but what element is he? He's blue, right? Okay, so that means Ice Lance and Aqua Beam should work really well for him. What else do we have for him? I mean, I kind of need to give him some other stuff as well. I'll give him a few spells just to just to have things. Just to have things, I'll give him a few other spells. I'll give him Meteorite Plus too, which, which should do quite well. Okay, I know I bought something for Serge, right? Ooh, nice! Two attack power. Nice, nice, nice. Not too shabby at all. And also I can, I can run a bit like Korcha now. Uh, I just find it kind of funny how Korcha has such huge legs though. His legs are absolutely, compared to the rest of his body, his legs make up of like 70% you know, of the body in total. <laughs> Which is like weird. When you look at a human person, it's like 50-50 or 55-45. But Korcha is like 60-40 at least, if not 70-30. Master Viper, I have been polishing this touch and waiting for your arrival. Oh wait, never mind. I read that before. I know there's a Glenn supposed to be somewhere around here, alright? And I also think Karsh is supposed to be around here somewhere, but I think that, that doesn't happen until later on. I need to remember how to get some of these characters. Wait, I forgot you can actually speed up the game when you wanna run. Okay, so I think I'll get back to this area later when I can actually recruit some of the characters. Cause I wanna recruit Karsh and Zoa. Like them, them two are definitely going in my main team straight away as soon as possible. Until I get some other options later on as well, but for now... The most important trait of a hero is beauty. Perfect your appearance in the mirror every day. <laughs> really? That's why my big sis is so strong. <laughs> Pierre is full of shit by the way. That's why his damage is only like 10 per hit. If not even 10, it's like 7 per hit. To, uh, 7 to 10 sometimes. That's why because he spends too much time in front of the mirror worrying about that instead of focusing on improving his damage. Ooh, so I have the match to upgrade. Wait, let me see, can I get anything for my friend? Oh, I need leather. I need leather, I should be able to maybe disassemble, right? Oh, bone sword actually gives me leather. Okay, let's disassemble the bone sword, guys. I wanna forge a new weapon for my friend over here. Let's, cause he needs, he needs damage for sure. I, I can just pay for him. I shall pay you double once I make it to start. So which means he's not gonna pay. Okay, so let's see what kind of a weapon this is. So it goes from 16 to 19. I mean, this kind of explains his low damage, guys. Look at him. Attack 19, Serge attack 28. And his, uh, Serge's attack was 26 with a weapon from the start of the game. Whereas with, with Pierre, I already changed three weapons. The guy just isn't meant to be doing a lot of damage, I suppose. Otherwise, you know, I they would have given him a bit more attack power for sure on the start. The radical dreamers have raided Lord Viper's Manor. Damn, bandits and just as a thought. That means it's only a matter of time before they come to steal my treasure. What is that? Oh, I, I think these are the goals how to become a millionaire, guys. Save money, save money, skip three and four and save more money. You know what, I was kind of looking at, you know, you know sometimes on you, YouTube, TikToks, they release those kind of videos where they mock, you know, the millionaire mindset. And one of the guys made like a video, here's how I became a millionaire. Each day I woke up at 4 a.m. and then I was expecting, you know, who God knows what. And then he's like, and then I turn around and I sleep extra four hours because I can't function at freaking four hours of sleep. <laughs> I love the way he just presented that was so funny. Because those millionaire mindset things shits are so funny sometimes. It appears that the festival may be cancelled too. I believe I made up, made up watching everything from this balcony like I did last year. 
Oh, this should be, uh, he's recruitable later on as well, but obviously not now. I think he need to bring some other character to him. And that's going to force his action or something like that, it's been a while. Also, let me check what's on the right side over here was... I think we can do something on the right side. I know here is where we met Kash and Ridel last time, but I don't know if anything changed now. Ah, yeah. There's Greco, guys. I knew it. Bless child, flow with the river and rest in peace. When thou returns to this world once again, may thou greet thy father and mother with a blessed smile. Come, please say your last farewells. Why? Why did such a sweet child have to? My only wish was to drink with you when you're grown. <laughs> the dreams of a father. The boat shall now be cut adrift. Your son's spirit shall ascend to heaven with your warm blessings. Everything that has formed must eventually fade away. Although that may be nature's way, I feel my heart being torn apart at times like this. Why must we, why must we face that? And who is the one that decides when we die? Jets, I have not yet seen the light, amigo. I think Gates is his uh, brother who passed away, I believe, or something like that. But it's been a while. Dear passing stranger, if you have a moment to spare, please give this wandering soul a small prayer to guide him on his path. Were they talking about Greco or the couple? I think they're talking about... He's talking about himself, right? I'll take him on the journey with me. Even though I like Greco, it's kind of cool, but in my previous playthroughs, I've almost never used him. I don't know why. Maybe because he doesn't he doesn't actually use proper weapons. Those damn dragoons. What nerve they have to call me an imposter. Especially after they dragged me all the way out to the valley. Someone must have been playing a prank, don't concern yourself about it. Let me see if he's recruitable at this stage of the game. Are you really a human who does not exist in this world? You're now drifting between the boundaries of life and death? You are too young to be taken into the arms of darkness. My duty is to watch over the spirits here. Romana, you're still too young to take on such a task. The spirits are always looking for a chance to draw the living into the darkness. But my brother, Gets, was able to save you from being drawn into the dark. He gave his life to help you, Draco. His life! I'm his sister. This time, you must save this one from the darkness. I think Gets deserves that, desires that also. See, si, senorita, you might be right. I believe that the only way to make up for the mistakes to Gets was to live in hiding for the rest of my life. I realize now that I was only trying to escape from my responsibilities. May I assist you in escaping the darkness, amigo? Guys, we got a new team member. And I would actually consider replacing uh, Pierre for him now. Because he... Oh my, I just noticed something! Pierre has six strength! Wow, that's why he deals so little damage, wow! Oh god, that's crap! Six strength! Pierre, I mean, uh, Serge has like 18, right? Wow. Jesus, that's so bad. That's like, I mean, that explains why he was dealing 7 damage when Serge was dealing 30 almost. And Kid was dealing 30 as well. Ah, okay, okay. BRB? Alright, man. Where is Glenn, by the way? Isn't he supposed to be here? Or does Glenn only show up? But please tell me I haven't actually missed out on Glenn. Because I really wanted to have Glenn with me. He's cool. Glenn is really cool. I think I missed out. I think I should have said that I'm not gonna save Kid. Then I go back here. And then Glenn joins me at the end. I think I messed up slightly. But, guys, does, do you know what this means? Well, I can continue my journey, but first thing first. Uh, I wanna go back to the manor and pick up, you know, in those few closed rooms, there were items, like in the big chests. 
Now I can actually go and pick them up. Let's see how much. Oh, there's actually a there's actually a white field already in the in the battle arena. So this is gonna definitely be dealing quite a bit of damage. 65. Okay, so let me see. I upgraded his weapon, guys. He is dealing 12. I mean, something, I guess. It's better than, than what he used to deal before, so there's that at least. Um, do we have anything yellow? I don't. Uh, I guess I can go for uh, Aqua Beam, I suppose. I'm gonna be dealing 37, right? Ah, 24. And let's see how much Korcha deals. So Korcha is using fishing rods as a weapon. Look, even Korcha is dealing much more than, than poor... Uh, than poor Pierre. Pierre, like, is definitely the weakest. When it comes to physical damage, one of the weakest characters in the game, I think. Also, I think this guy is gonna die now. And he's dead. Critical hit, 78. There's no surviving down. That's even more damage than my photon being dealt. And that was plus two photon ray. So that was, yeah, <laughs> a bit OP. <laughs> Wait, did I pick up the chest that was hidden over here in the last time I was... No, there was a chest here. I guess I picked it up, right? There's... It's not over there anymore. Okay, I've been all the way there. I've been there. There's nothing. Uh, let me see. Where else can I maybe go? There's nothing here, right? Oh wait, there's a... No, there's an enemy over here as well, but I don't know if something is located behind that. Aha, so this one you're not even able to engage. Uh, well, first thing first, let's actually go up here, because I know there's two rooms I can explore over here, which previously were only linked to the story. Okay, this is Riddell's room to start with. And I don't understand why was... Uh, Miss Riddell over here left all alone, even though she was kidnapped last time. That's the one thing I never actually understood. Like, everyone left the castle and she's there alone. Well, with her maid. Okay, so she was she was being persuaded, but she didn't want to accept it, okay. Oh my goodness, that night, you're the ones who... Kid risked her life to shield me. My father and his men have left for Fort Dragonia. I do not know exactly where he is, though. There's not a single thing I can do except pray for their safety. I mean, she, I mean, she could join me, but I think she might join us later. She might join us later. For now, we just go around exploring and picking up whatever we can. And I think there's gonna be something here. Inside the chest over here, maybe. Hopefully. Mm, there's not. Was I mistaken? I seem to remember something being in this room. Ah, wait, maybe behind the painting. No. I think there might be something in this room once you have General Viper in your party, though. Because I seem to remember something. Maybe I'm wrong. No, no, I'm not wrong. I know there's something over there, but just not accessible just yet. I think he's, he must be in the, in the party for that to happen. Alright, uh, also, if you guys remember last time, Lucia told us to visit her when we are not on the mission. And well, we are not on the mission anymore, so we should be able to visit Lucia and see if she will join our party now, or is that something that happens only later on? It's locked. No. That one is still locked. That kind of sucks. Wait, wasn't this... Wasn't there supposed to be a chest around there? Maybe not. But what about these things? Are they linked to the door over there? Yes, not. I think for that door I need a key. I need to find a key somehow, or I need to bring the character whose room that is, and with them in my party I should be able to open it. And there we go. Dragon ga Dragoon Gauntlet. Let me see, guys. Dragoon Gauntlet. That is what improves attack power. Oh, okay. Well, he could use that, but I'm actually considering giving that to Pierre, or maybe to Korcha. Maybe even to Korcha. Let me see. Ooh, that's really good. Look at that. From 22 to 25, Korcha is gonna be dealing some serious damage now, guys. Also, I'm gonna give him the magic ring as well while I'm on it. Korcha is gonna be dealing some serious damage right now, guys. P 
Pierre is gonna be left on his 12. I just have to accept that Pierre is never gonna be good at dealing damage, it seems. And this one? Wait, it won't open? There must be a way. Hey, what? What do you mean? How do I open it then? I forgot. I guess only Zoa opens it. Yeah. I think only Zoa can open up this chest. Ah. So it's like, it's only that one which I can open, it seems. Okay. Mm, feels bad. And I think this is where Lucia is supposed to be as well. Yeah. In one of these three rooms, that is. So for that area upstairs, I need Zoa. In this one, I need a general wiper. For the one on the very top, I need general wiper. So like every room is linked to something. And you see, Lucia is not here anymore. And Pip escaped. So Lucia not here and Pip is escaped. She might be on the roof terrace. Ah, okay. Is this guy like a spy or something? What is he doing over here? I think this guy is a spy, guys. I, I got a feeling he's a spy. Why else would he be snooping around? Wait, there's something shining, but I can't pick it up. Okay, there's something shining, but you can't pick it up. Oh. I, I do need to make my way back upstairs because Lucia seems to be hiding there. Uh, what's this? Aha, uh -huh, it's this room, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let me see if something downstairs opened up in the meantime. Okay, didn't. What about the down here? No. I know this is accessible. These two doors are actually accessible from somewhere else. Uh, but it's been such a long time, I don't remember exactly where. Oh yeah, the slacker is wandering the, the palace. <laughs> They're looking for God knows what. Alright, I keep forgetting this is the same area. Uh, wait, I wanted to check something else here. Or did I? Maybe I didn't. Oh yeah, right. Of course. Man, like this game when it's, so, when it's fast, it's so good to travel between the areas. When you want to click something, it actually makes your head spin in a way. Because it's almost impossible to click the object when you're like moving that fast. Okay, I, I think I have a feeling Lucia is not going to join us just yet, but hopefully I'm wrong. I mean, hopefully I don't care too much. I'm not going to use her anyway, I think. For now, at least. This homo subflavor is called Neophium. As it matures, it will behave just like a human. However, this Neophio is like no other. It's a powerful type with the ability to use elements. Naturally, it was I who improved it. Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> One is able to train it to if it blossoms. But a little spark is necessary for that. I have pinpointed the whereabouts of a life spark in a marsh east of Arnie village. Oh, wait. That's where I'm going right now. She said some of the dragoons retrieved, however, none have returned. It's a shame, but I cannot allow any more loss of life. I suggest you stay away from that marsh if you wish to live. Wait, do I, do I have to go back again now? Downstairs to find her? Oh my god. Yeah, for this I need to I need to go in the marsh and find a, find a little spark item. Which is gonna bring a little Neophio back to life. It's, it's a character, but not something I'm gonna use, I think. There's quite a few of those characters which I just really don't like to watch. Not, not, not for no specific reasons. I just never really use them. And also because there's so many characters, on one hand it's great fun that you have so much so much choice when it comes to characters. But on the other hand it can be a bit overwhelming. So you end up uh, not actually using some of the characters at all, sadly. But it's only normal when there's so many of them, to be honest. So, yeah. uh, this is Lucia's, right? Yeah. This should be Lucia's. What is it you want? Would you like to join us? Without Pip, I really do not have anything to research. I guess the time is right. I am sure I can find some interesting research, Mattia, if I tag along with you. I will join you. Oh, ho, 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 ho. And can I pick up the item now? Let me see. Wait, is Lu- Aha, uh -huh, okay. I'm still not able to loot the item though, that's kind of weird. You got Max Payne trick here from some dude, he said he loved the work. Oh wait, really? Damn man, that's very cool. 
Yeah, I saw that you got a huge uh, reach on that on that on that Reddit uh, uh, thread you did with your with your wallpaper. That's really cool. And also, have you heard about Max Payne Games getting the remake? It, like it was out in the news a couple of days ago. I think the Max Payne, I think two or three of those games will be getting a remake, which is really cool. I think like the first game especially is like very very old by this point, so you know having a remake on that is gonna be really good funny thing. Right, so we are back to we are back to the real jail, uh, but I think this area at, at the moment there's nothing in it, right? Or maybe there is. So in this world it doesn't exist. Like in this world, the item we need doesn't actually exist, right? Oh, yeah. Just look around. The ecosystem that kept the water clean has been destroyed. Now the water is just pools of acid. But anyway, I know it was possible to find. Uh, I think it was possible to find. Uh, uh, what's the name? The the suit to prevent this poison to you. You did. You love those games, and I finally get to own a game league. <laughs> That's good, man. Are you planning on playing it like right, like straight away these days, or what's the what's the plan? Uh, I'm trying to remember where do I find the sword. Sword, 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 sword. It, I know, I don't, I don't think it's in the village over here. I think the sword might actually be in the other dimension. Most likely. I played Max Payne 1, but that was a long time ago. That's like the only Max Payne I played, I believe. The first one. Is this the place? It's Jascha, Average Beach. Excuse me, but what do you want to us to do here? It looks like an ordinary beach to me, Serge. But anyone have a parcel they can lend more? Yeah, there's the thingy which we need to use. Well, we need to use the item over here to transfer to another dimension. What the hell is this thing? I'm not really used to supernatural stuff. Storytelling of Remedy games is unparalleled. Are you telling me it's better than From Software? As my, uh, we, I was actually on the podcast last night on Hal's uh, co uh, podcast, and we were talking about Elden Ring for about two hours, and um, we were able to talk about everything except the story because none of us know anything about the story. <laughs> Yo, Candy! Good evening, good evening, man. How are you doing? How is your weekend so far? This is the dimension wormhole that connects the Duke's walls, no? Ah, la la. Yes, it is, and now we just need to use the item here, which we got before, which is called Astral Amulet, right? And we are going to shift the dimensions. <laughs> I'm not. I love the story, by the way. Yeah, of course I know that game. Yeah, I know, I know. Everyone knows that game, I think. I, I haven't played it, though. I haven't played it just yet. Uh, guys, now we are back in the OG world, by the way. We are back in the original world where we died off 10 years ago. I'm kind of curious what people over here are going to think about me. Wait, no, I'm still alive, right? Ah, no, no, we are still alive, actually, in this world. Okay, never mind. Let me see what Lena is going to say. You hit rank 1 on killer today? Oh, really? Gods, man. Well done. Pretty proud of that? Yeah, you should be. That's a good accomplishment, I'm sure. Uh, maybe on a uh, Nemesis? Wait, I think Nemesis is over there. No, not Mr. X. I know one of the Resident Evil villains is over there as, as the killer, right? I know about it for sure. I know, I, I'm certain about that. Yeah, Nemesis, yeah, I know I was, I know. Yeah, okay, nice. <laughs> I was certain there's one of them. I remember that. Nemesis and his zombie buddies. Nice. Very cool. 
let's go to let's go to Hydra marshes in the another world. Let's have a look. If it is a sash, then in the village elders tell you not to come near here. Do you have some kind of business here? I can tell by the look on your face that it's something important. Here, go on through. I'm sure that three of you can handle. Can you give me the suit, please, mate? Also, I got an item to do something to this dream time. Green Tinkler, isn't it? Let's have a look. Yeah, Green Tinkler actually works on these plants. Okay, nice. Oh, wait, the water is not poison in this world as well. Very nice. It's not poisoned over here. Awesome. Wait, Candy, how long did it take you to get that high of a ranking, by the way? I climbed uh, to red ranks by playing mostly the Onryo from the ring, okay, and Pyramid. Head Silent Hill and then climb from red rank to rank 1 by playing Pinhead. If you know from the Hellraiser movie, it took you about a month. Oof. Okay. That's quite a bit. But I don't... I don't think I know about Pinhead from the Hellraiser movie. I don't think I've heard about that. Maybe I, maybe I did here, but I don't remember it. Sadly. But that's like regardless of the fact I know about it. That's uh, well done. Congratulations. Pinhead and his lament configuration is so OP in the in the, in the very like. Oh really? Ah, okay. You know, it seems like a fun game. Like so many people seem to play that. And yeah, Lulu plays that game like very often. It's one of her favorite games when she's not doing the stream raiders. But yeah, I don't I have never played it. I don't think I have it just yet anyway. One day we'll get around to checking that game out as well. Oh, look at Pierre doing 17 damage. Mon ami. Says man Magnifique. <laughs> oh, let's, oh, wait. Don't tell me I don't have anything. Okay, I have this one. Learning French by playing Chrono Cross, y'all. <laughs> you can be the survivor? Oh, no. If I was playing it, I would be the killer, man, for sure. I like to be the one chasing around and trying to kill everyone. And for a moment I thought it was thunderstorming again. Ah, you're silver on survival, right, okay. Which one is more fun, by the way? What's more fun? Like, I, I mean, in my mind, in my mind, like, it seems like that killer would be more fun, but who knows? I mean, everyone enjoys something different at the end of the day, you know? Both are fun? Okay. I'm guessing it only depends person from person then, right? Somebody might think one of them is better, someone else is gonna think otherwise. Everybody down! Something this big is heading away. Oh yeah, I think this is gonna be the boss of this area, by the way, guys. What was that thing? I cannot believe this place. Pierre says, Pierre reminds me of the dude from, uh, uh, from uh, Demon Slayer, the one who's always crying. I forgot his name. Kinda reminds me of that one. <laughs> Pierre also likes to complain all the time about things. Isn't this like... Did you just see a strange looking creature up ahead? Yes, I think we all saw it. It's gonna make its appearance again? Yeah. Everybody can see that Korcha. Wait, it's actually coming towards me? Do you wanna fight? What you want? Booba Biba! This Biba, no place for humans Biba! Go away! Biba Wolf. <laughs> Booba Biba. Tanjiro, yeah. Preference thing, survival is considered more fun because it's one v4 situation and the survivors have a lot of tools to build a killer. Ah, but for some people like me, the heavy micromanagement of killer is very fun and rewarding when you can punish toxic debugging survivors. Oh, right, okay, okay, okay. So it's like four killers per one survivor, right? Which means it's quite hard to like succeed as a killer, isn't it? I mean to succeed as a survivor, I mean. Considering there's so many more of the There's so many more of the killers in one game. But that guy has a lot of HP, doesn't he? 
Ah, four survivors. Okay, 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 okay. One killer. Which is kind of fair, I guess. I mean, I don't know how difficult any of that is, so, but I guess it's fair. What's Noid? Is that some kind of a mod or what's that? Okay, my, my friend over here definitely needs better, better elements. Pierre for sure needs better elements. Oh, come on, Biba, stop calling your freaking friends, dude. Oh my god, he's got too many friends at the moment. There's three of them, you know. Headbutt. Yes. <laughs> Let's try the headbutt, y'all. Is it close to being dead? Oh yeah. Come on, Biba. What are you doing, dude? He called four friends. What is that? Finally, one of the Bebas is dead. I hope the other few have less HP, though. Oh my god. No, it is a short for no one escaped that which is a perk to equip for killers. It makes the robbers be instantly down by basic attacks as soon as they exit gig. Oh, okay. Hex where the where once they exit gets a power, all survivors can be one shot. And uh, does it take long to power the exit gate? I can only assume that's about because um, that's 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 uh, a way to prevent survivors from delaying the game for too long and making it not fun. I uh, I know uh, some games have a system, like if you're playing Arena in WoW and it's taking too long, you actually start losing HP by default and I like that because it prevents from matches running too far, too long, I mean. Consider a no skill player that, that compensates for a killer's bad play, even though a survivor have tons of damage but also more impactful. I mean less impactful, okay. But is, does it take long for the gate to power up though? I think that's the main thing, like if it's powers up after 2 seconds, then it's obviously weird. If they power up after 20 minutes, then I, I think it's fine. But again, I have no idea how any of that works. And these, like, the ones that are summoned, definitely have less HP than the main one. And that's obviously good. This is absolutely horrible, by the way. Like, my skills, my elements on PR are beyond horrendous. And again Korcha misses, again Korcha misses, every single time so far he's missed the very first attack. And again, let's see. Oh, finally, thank you Korcha. And now, there's too many of them so they, they keep attacking between every one of my attacks. Why did he summon three of his friends? Uh, headbutt. Ooh. Okay, this is gonna do a lot of damage, guys. My innate color is blue. There's two blue fields on the already on the battlefield. And this is a blue attack. 37, that's success. I'm gonna lie. Aha! Nice, okay. One down. And two more to go. Oh, two down then. Ah! Man, I need better items to increase my accuracy. I keep missing too much. Thank you! Some luck on my side for a change. Okay, so what do I have left? Q, we have the ice lines as well. Okay, let's try with that. Let's tell me a man I said she's not even doing more damage on the, on the magic. Oh, come on! He's even doing more damage than, than Korcha is, and Korcha is the blue element he made. There we go! Pierre with 20-20! Wow, good job, Pierre. Pierre usually sucks when it comes to dealing damage, so that's a huge improvement. And before Quarcha dies. No, 44, okay, he's surviving still. Uh, okay, he's got nothing I know that much, so we can only attack. Okay, I think this is third time lucky, guys, right? There's no way he's gonna miss again. He missed again. And again? And he missed again. Quarcha, you idiot! Bushwhacker, Photon Ray. Okay. 
play a few JRPG style games yesterday and before that. But also, I'm so hilarious to buy them. Wait, how are you? What, what do you mean? How are you buy that then? In what way? And also, which one did you play yesterday? Like, yes, what did you play yesterday? But how much HP do these two seem to have now? Oh, wait, I just noticed the HP of my characters, y'all. Not looking good, y'all. Not looking as good as it should, for sure. Okay, I might need to use some fuels, actually, by the way. First one on Korcha. Okay, let's heal Korcha. With two blue elements already in the field, that should be dealing a lot of healing. Nice, almost full HP. Dudes, to death. Stop being so crap. Nice. You make bad decisions in fights and the game I played. Well, bad decisions, they, they happen until you get used to the game. I do bad decisions all the time. Like me, uh, me prevail, me persisting with using the one that has the least amount of hit chance. You see, again, I missed. That's a bad decision as well. It happens. You, you, you learn over time. Has a mechanic to parry attacks with correct timings, and I suck at the timing things. Ah, wait, was something like uh, Dark Souls, where if you parry at the correct time, you actually can repost. How does that work in a, in an RPG game? Uh, sorry, in a JRPG game. It's kind of interesting. It's like very interesting, actually. I don't think it's one of these old school JRPGs then, because in these games you definitely don't have options of things like that. Oh, by the way, the whole. The whole field is blue element, by the way, guys. <laughs> now, if only I had some blue spell on my characters. I mean on Serge. Because I think sadly Serge has used everything he's got on the blue side. Oh, Aqua Beam! Let's see, guys. So last time it was 51 damage from two of them. Now it's how much from three? 42. How? Maybe last time it was plus two, I don't know. Horrible. The best comparison I would find is South Park the Fracture, but hold, you just press the confirm button when you or the enemy attack connects. Oh, okay, I haven't played South Park Fractured, but I think I know what, what, what do you mean. I know what do you mean. Okay, Korcha needs a way to increase his hit chance, that's for absolutely 100% certain. See, Serge doesn't seem to miss that much, or at all, you know. Serge doesn't seem to miss at all. I have you, you know, in the, this whole fight, Serge has used the strongest attack every single time. I haven't missed a single time so far. You dead? I'm dead yet. You'll be dead now. Then Korcha, fifth time lucky. Aha! <laughs> it missed again. Korcha, you moron. I think this was a boss fight, by the way, which means I should get a level, right? Let's have a, please tell me if this was considered a boss fight. It wasn't! Seriously? How was that not considered a boss fight? That was such a long fight. Booba Biba is sorry. Here, I give you this. Please forgive Biba. This Biba flu that is handed down in the Biba family. It's Biba magical. It's called Wingapid. It makes Wingapid Biba a good Wingapid. I got a feeling we are full of shit, Booba Biba. He's gonna call an enemy on us, not a friend guy. Booba Biba is definitely full of crap, y'all, I'm telling you that. Biba flute. Why don't you blow in the flute here, Serge? Why don't you try blowing the flute, I mean? Uh, where is it? Biba flute, let's have a look. I don't think anything is gonna happen over here, though. We need to, I think, use it at a specific location. And I think that guy is going to tell us now. This Biba the wrong place! This isn't the wide open space I was talking about! Okay, Biba Booba, thank you. Okay, so, uh, what was I saying? Aha! So he definitely needs... ...something better. Ooh, top 3 Chrono Cross characters! Um, okay, keep in mind I haven't played it in a long time, so I might be wrong in remembering. But I think back in the days, 
My favorite characters were Karsh, um, Glenn, and um, maybe Fargo. Karsh, Glenn, and Fargo. With, like Kid being like a just just about to enter top three, maybe. So Karsh. Glenn Fargo, I believe, but it was such a long ago, man, I don't remember it. Con no. I, I, I'm gonna let you know that question again when I finish the game this time around, once I have the chance to re-explore it all and see and see everything. Where's the... I had turned white is what I want to remove. Electro Jolt, let's put that one as well, like... Uh, instead of Hellsoul. Hellsoul kind of sucks, not gonna lie. But yeah, like I would, for sure, 100% Karsh is one of them. I just love Karsh. I don't know why, but I always had a weak spot for Karsh. Uh, Glenn and Fargo are definitely up, high up there as well. Okay, what else do I have? Uh, cure? I want to put a cure on somewhere as well. Maybe instead of turn green, I guess. Okay. Okay, there we go. What about him? Does he have everything? Okay, he doesn't have everything sorted out just yet. Bushwhacker. Gravity Blow. I can put Gravity Blow over here to do a lot of damage. Okay, I got Meteor right over there. Okay, let me save the game. But yeah. Man, there's too many characters. You just like them all. Let me... One second. Chrono Cross characters. Let's have a look, man. I'm just really curious. There's 45 of them. There's 45 of them. Chronofandom.com, I think that's the one. Yeah. Okay, Serge, Kid, Lynx, Guile, Norris, Nikki, Viper. Okay, Karsh. There's Karsh, of course. Karsh. Mm. I'm a huge fan of Radius as well. Radius is really cool. Um... Yeah, I do kind of like Riddle as well quite a bit. Uh, I don't know. Mars is very cool as well. It's like too many, too many options to choose three of them, but definitely I think the three I've said are very good options for the top three. Alright, let's continue. Maybe my, maybe my, my opinion will change as I go through this playthrough. Oh no, I, I, maybe I should have said the other one. Oh no, is this dude gonna summon his friends as well? Please tell me he's not. Oh, he will for sure, won't he? And then I start by missing. Oh, come on, man! It's the same shit I was here last time around. Biba calls friend again, doesn't he? Of course Biba's gonna call his freaking friend. Okay, not just yet, though. Uh, Photon Ray 2. Yeah, this Biba has the most amount of HP from all of them, so... It's definitely gonna get to the point where I have four of them again. Oh, come on. I hate these enemies. Like, they're some of my... I, I remember them being some, some of my least favorite enemies in the whole of the franchise. Franchise? I am not talking about this game. I'm talking about this game and Chrono Trigger together. They are like so badly designed. And the only thing they can do is like summon the freaking friends. And the friends are do doing like 10 damage per attack, but they have like a lot of HP. But they just knock him out of the... Oh no, he's back. 18 damage? From plus 2 spell? 18 damage? How can you even look at me in the eyes after doing that much damage, Pierre? How? I don't, think, I don't think Korcha is serious, you know. He's not a serious character. He's funny, but that's all he is. He's just funny. Meteorite plus two. Gravity blow plus two. But Meteorite should be able to get him close to dying because there's only there's already one field effect of of why 37 I have not no in in the whole of the game so far I managed to find only one AOE 
Which I believe Kid has equipped and Kid is poisoned right now. Infi! You're watching uh, my favorite game of all times, man. Well, my top three favorite games. Chrono Cross. We're fighting Bibas Boobas. Bibas Boobas, man. <laughs> How are you doing? I finished uh, Elden Ring. I'm just chilling off stream now, playing, collecting achievements and whatnot. Not defeated Malenia just yet, but I haven't done her in the last three days. Need to get back onto it tomorrow and try to try to attempt it. Yeah, I mean technically I finished. Yeah, you know, the game is finished. I got the credits. No, I haven't done it on the stream, but I will do it off stream. Oh, shut up! I'm planning on doing that off stream. Already had few attempts and I got to stage two once. I just need, didn't have time a bit. Obviously. Yes, yeah, off stream. <laughs> are you dead, Biba? How the fuck are you still alive, Biba Booba? Coach, I didn't miss y'all! Wow, that's a first. That's a first that Coach did not miss with his uh, strongest attack. Now? Of, of course, of course. That was that's the all that's all the luck that Korcha had in this fight, I think. Oh, it's all white guys. Do I have any white attack? Oh I have I have fought on Ray. Thirty damage? That's weird. I think that Serge never misses. How is it not dead? Oh, three of them attacking in a row? Wow. Doesn't happen often. Uh, Aqua Beam revive. Wait, I just realized that Sage only has like three, four attacks. Three to four spells. Okay, I have to give him some abilities as well. Okay, let's go Pierre, my old amigo. Don't miss! Don't miss! Thank you very much. Wait, I just realized something. So last time when I was attacking with Korcha and I used the strongest attack, my hit chance for the next attack didn't increase. Whereas for Pierre, it was a 64% and it was a 94%. Hmm, weird. Very, very weird actually. Okay, I could be in for 31 damage. 17. Almost cut by half what I said. Aha, uh -huh, now it did increase. Okay, good. Now it works. Uh, he's not level 1. So the way it works is... Uh, you see like the thing next to him, level 1 with those like bars? <laughs> and some of, the, some of them are yellow. So that's like the... That's the allocations of the elements. Every time you attack... Okay, let me show you when, when, when it's Serge's turn. One second. When it's Serge's turn, I'm gonna show you what, what that means. I'm gonna show you what it means. So you see, Korcha went to level 1 right now because he can only use elements from the first column. But as you... Okay, so Serge now is level 1, you use level 1 attack and you can use elements from level 2, and now elements from level 3, and now it's, everything is unlocked. So it's, it's mostly for the element uh, things, but what it matters. Like, level-wise, they're all the same. Because this game doesn't have like leveling per se, like in most of the like in most of the Final Fantasy games, for example. It's a bit different. Dead? Yes. Nice. Come on, Pierre, mi amigo. Don't miss. Good job. Is the game lagging a bit? Let me see if I'm dropping frames. One second. Uh, it shouldn't be lagging. I'm not dropping a single frame though. Let me try to just increase my bitrate on the stream actually one moment. I don't think that should matter. One second. It might be like when I when I play the game too fast, then I slow it down. That it might be a bit too hard to adjust to the speed of the game. Because that's like the only change I'm doing. You see, like, right now it's going at 200%. Yeah, yeah, like, it's going 200% and I slow it down. This is, like, the normal speed right now. Yeah, 
And now I change again when it's his turn to attack with the basic attack. Ah, Pierre. Come on, dude, you missed three attacks. And he goes to attack Serge, who's the only one defending at that point. You too? You too! Five attacks missed in a row, guys. Five! Three by Pierre, two by Korcha. Unbelievable. Thank you, Serge, for not letting me down ever. Okay, that was a long fight. We need to allocate elements to Serge for sure. Is the okay, we are full HP nice? Okay. So we definitely need to allocate a little bit. What's that? Bush Bash. Ooh, Bush Bash here is good. Okay, so um, elements allocate. Yeah, Serge has so many options which, which he can do. Uh, Bush Basher is good for sure. That's gonna be the, my strongest one. Bush Wacker over there. Gravity Blow as well. Um, Meteorize for sure. Goes here. And I will also put up the. Um, I think that's fine. What about Pierre? Okay, Pierre in general doesn't seem to have too many options, which kind of sucks, but we'll give him the Oro Aero Saucer as well. But I'm gonna go back and save, because I know, I think I know what's, what's gonna happen next. I think I know what's gonna happen, and I don't wanna be there unprepared. Let me just see something, though. Uh, Poshul. What's the silver loop? Ah, I knew it! I knew it was hidden around somewhere. Where is Lina? Does Lina have anything equipped? Okay, so she's got Ivory Helm, which is fine. What about Mojo? Okay, Mojo doesn't have anything. So this is gonna actually allow me now to equip Korcha. And he's always missing. With Silver Loop to give him some hit chance. Okay, that's gonna be okay. So this is the wide open space where I need to use the flute now. Okay, let's try blowing... I remember, by the way, there's gonna be a boss fight over here. This boss, for me, used to be quite hard. When I was a kid, um, there, were, there were times when I would reach this area and I would struggle to beat the boss, like, so much. I mean, we'll see if that happens now. I hope not, but it used to be a hard one. Epic's paid about 200 million for free games recently. They got it back triple earnings thanks to Fortnite Battle Pass. What the fuck? So they can pay that much money for the free games to like to sort of pull in more more potential future customers, and they easily make it back from Fortnite. Fortnite has had a, has had a change recently, right? I heard they actually removed the building aspect of the game, or at least they made a mode. At least they made a mode where uh, building is not necessary, or well, not even possible. I mean, I don't know how popular it is, but. I heard it's a thing. Jesus Christ. 840 freaking million, man. Oh, I think this is the attack. This one poisons the whole group, I believe. Is it? Is that the one? Not only poisons them, it actually deals a lot of damage, like 30 damage, man. Okay, if I had some fire spells, this would have been much easier. But I don't have a single fire spell, though. Yeah, like maybe Steam should be trying something like that as well, more often. <laughs> I guess Steam just has a too big of a, you know, a name to need to do something like that here. Yeah. Or whatever. But why is Pierre on 60 HP already? What the hell? Pierre is already on 60 HP. Pierre sucks. I'm gonna replace him the first chance I get with someone much better. His damage is just unbelievable alone. They're loving everything these days? Uh, really? I can't say I pay too much attention to what Steam is allowing, so I don't know. As long as it gets the 30%. Ah, so they, they, they lowered. The quality of the products that must be on the Steam market, I suppose, okay. 
I don't know, like, I don't really pay atten too much attention to anything on the side, to any of like the weird games on the side, so I have no idea how any of them even do. Okay, let's try with Photon Ray too, how much damage that's going to deal. I don't like this fight. This is one of those bosses you really have to beat as fast as possible. Wait, I think it's already close to dying, nice. Well, I did. Serge, this, oh, it's all because of Serge, by the way. Just deals, he just deals so much damage. How much is that gonna be? 31 to 34. 31 to 34. 18. Really? Like, it seems that it's weakened, but I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh my god! Do I have any sort of healing? Oh, I have the healing, but I don't want to use a healing because uh, actually I'm going to use a gra gravity blow. Actually, no, head. Uh, gravity blow is already buffed up, and the field effect is buffed up. But I'm gonna I'm gonna heal Serge with himself. But Serge has a healing spell as well, which does a lot, and it's a blue effect. And this is going to buff up the blue effect. What's up? Oh, it's dead actually. Thank God. This is like the, this is one of those fights where you really ca have to kill them fast before they manage to kill you. <laughs> because this enemy really does a lot of poison over time. Like it's done three attacks and my team is almost dead by the way. Wait, it's not considered a boss. Are you kidding with me? It's not a boss. GG, thank you. Thank you, thank you. The foothold could give any minutes. We shouldn't... We should avoid passing through the middle. Oh, wait, do I have a way of removing the poison though? Oh, I don't. Oh, I don't have a way of curing the poison. Uh, okay. Well, first thing first, I'm gonna go back and save. Because I don't want to risk dying. And then having to repeat this fight again. Oh, how much? Oh man, I lost 20 HP by, from running. You lose a lot of HP from poison in this game. I should have bought, I should have bought some things that actually help with that. Some items that remove the poison debuff. Okay, I did it on purpose because you're gonna fall somewhere down. You're going to actually stun it, then you can run around it. But I know there's a way to kill this enemy as well later on. I think at this point of the game, you don't want to kill it just yet because it's a bit too strong for me. What is that? Cage fairy? Can I free it? Hey Serge, is that really a fairy? I've never seen one before. We can't just leave her trapped like this, let's help her out. What's that? Wait right there. My darlings. What? What's happening? Oh please don't tell me we woke it up. Do you think you can walk out of here alive and with my dinner food? It's been years since I wrapped my sweet tentacles around succulent human flesh. You'll make a fine main course. Oh, but I'm gonna die here. Oh no, I'm already hurt by poison. I haven't healed up before the fight. I got a feeling this is gonna end up badly. Probably another... Yeah, green? Okay, this one is blue. I mean, I might be able to do it, I suppose. Serge does do... Oh, Serge with 21 damage only? That is weak. Let me start by using Meteorite 1, because I want to build up before I use the hardest hitting ones. But I got a bad feeling about this fight. Like, I remember doing this in the past, and I've always done it like, later on in the game. Because I seem to remember it was quite difficult for this part of the game. Let's have a look. That's not actually bad, that's actually fine. That's actually quite fine. Um... Uh, wait, that's a, that was a blue one, right? Okay, it's a blue one, so I don't really want to be using the cure in that case. I want to be using the heal on on Pierina. Heal is fine. Blue one, I should be using the uh, the yellow one, but I don't really have any white elements. I mean, yellow elements. Yellow elements for me seem to be quite hard to find. A meteorite, gravity, ice lens. Okay, photon ray. 
Like I said, I wanna save as many of the strongest ones when the field is full of white energy before I start using them. Like right now, there's two of them. And unless I mess up, which I did. Oh my god! Whoop. Thank god I killed. Oh my god, it is 6 and I had 68! Are you kidding with me? He did one more damage than he had HP. At least he doesn't have poison anymore, so there's that. That was so unlucky though. Oh, man, man. Mendelssohn actually deals... Mendelssohn is a, is a white spell. It's a blue spell. I don't want to be using that. It's only going to empower his abilities. 37, that's nothing too good. Gorcha also not looking good. The front, a poison front. Uh, not Gorcha! Not Korcha, and not one more HP than he's got. Can I kill it before it kills me though? That's the question right now, guys. If I, if I can kill it before it can kill me, I have a chance. But the chances of that happening are very, very low. 49. It's literally got to die in the next two attacks. In the next two turns, I mean. It's not even weakened yet. No weekend, no weekend. How much? 29. Miss! Ah. <sighs> can I run? Wait, I can run? What's gonna happen if I run? I mean, my characters are dead, so that's not good, let's be honest. Oh, you just go back to a fight. I mean, you can re-equip, but there's nothing for me to re-equip. <laughs> Serge is the only one still holding up. Oh, they're all alive somehow. Oh my god. Why didn't I just die? Like, I ran away from like a freaking idiot. Just, just kill us, please. There's no point in continuing this. Let's just defend. Defend. Okay, whoop, someone out of the fight. Okay, Serge is done as well. I'm definitely gonna come back to this fight at some later stage of the game. Because right now I'm really not prepared for that. I need HP and I need some better weapons for sure. Because I'm basically not dealing any damage. Like even Sage, who usually deals like 40 per each hit, is dealing like half of that. Look at that. 7 on hard attack. 7. And now when, when I don't want him to miss, he starts missing. Of the iron. Enough? Thank you. Three attacks in a row. This is what he can do if he's angry. Imagine if, he, if I wasn't defending, that would be like 30 attack. 30 damage per attack. That would be a little bit too much to survive. Okay, let's go again. Well, I'm not gonna go again against this boss. Maybe I should go back and buy the things that remove poison. Hmm. Is that worth it? Because this poison is gonna keep on ticking all the freaking time. Nah, I'll skip or I'll, I'll skip it for now. Because I, as far as I remember, there's no more like bosses in this area. What's done is done. I like to think that. I mean, this is a boss, of course, but I'm not gonna be fighting. Re oh, that's a woo! Recover all, guys! Do you know what that is? Recover all is a spell which heals everyone in your teammates white. That's a good one. Ooh, that's a really good one, actually, guys. Uh, Photon Ray. Let's remove Photon Ray for now. Let's put Photon Ray instead of. Gravity blow. Oh, that's a good one. I mean, it's not gonna help me against this boss still because I'm too weak. I don't think so. I don't think so. Like, uh, last time I did so much damage, I healed up a few times as well, and the boss wasn't anywhere close to even being weakened. So one extra healing isn't gonna really do it. 
but it's gonna help me out for sure in the future. And uh, I need like one or two more levels that I'm gonna come back and defeat this boss. Okay, so this is a way to get back. I don't remember what's over here, but let's have a look. Oh, it's these enemies, okay. Gotta be careful around them. They can be dangerous. I think. I need to find... Oh, okay, there we go. Oh, there's a boss in this area. Oh, it's over there. Oh, I forgot about them. They are actually very dangerous, man. Oh, they are actually quite, quite dangerous. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to go back in time and buy poison removal. Oh, crap. Looks like something that existed. It looks like something before Zelda even existed. Like in, ter in terms of the, the graphic style, or what do you mean exactly? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to time, guys. And I'm gonna buy the poison removal. I can't do it like this. Thank God I have the fast running door that's gonna help me out so much. Uh, green Tinkler, right? There we go. Gameplay? It's Zelda, but we... Ah, right, okay, okay, okay. Aha, I see what you mean. It's Zelda, but way more fun. You, might, you know what? I'm so thankful there's this super run in this game, in this remaster. Because this, like, running back to buy the healing items would have been so punishing in the normal version of the game. Would have been so, so punishing. But I just need to buy them, sadly. Gonna buy like maximum amount, I suppose. Wait, can I rest up? I should be able to. And I think resting up also removes the poison, I hope. Let me see. Yeah, poison is gone, okay. So now we just need to buy some stuff. We just need to buy some. I think panacea that removes poison, or maybe not. Oh no, it's antidote, right? Should be antidote. Uh, some your elements, let me see. Oh, it's antidote, yeah. Alright, word from clan is your back. That the new endgame content is back. Should I or not? Well, you like the game quite a bit, so, you know. Why not, I guess. Why not? I mean, watch, you're gonna play it for a few weeks, you know, have some fun and... Take a break again, I guess, at the end of the day, so why not? I don't know. I guess it depends how much time you need to put you need to put into it again. And are you willing to put that time in? That's I guess that's the main thing. I'm gonna be back in charge as a recruit coordinator. Yeah, do you want yeah, like that's another question, like do you want that responsibility? Or do you want to take it more chill? Like, do you not want to focus on that? I don't know. Depends if you're willing to do it now. But I know you like the game, so that's good. That makes it easier, obviously. I think I can summon this one as well, right? I don't remember what's over here, though. The new accounts to show the noobs. Yeah, but do, do you remember how it went last time? You were actually really annoyed with them. <laughs> because they were not willing to learn. And they were annoying you. <laughs> I remember that. So what's to say they're not gonna be the same if not forced this time around? But puri. Toxic. Oh, please don't tell me it's just gonna explode on me and leave poison debuff. <laughs> yeah, I had a feeling you would say that. <laughs> I remember it was a pain in the ass for sure. Wait, why didn't he use the... Wait, what? That was weird. Uh, antidote. What's over here, by the way? Aha, that's the way to come back to the start of the area, right? Does he respawn? Can you like kill all of this and then weaken up the main boss? Because they're linked to the main boss, I'm sure, in one way or another. Let's see. Daggy Dwarf. Oh, these are the old school dwarfs, man. Like, these are the old, old school dwarfs like, that were made in video games from way back when. Hey, Arevia! Hello, hello! How are you doing? 
Well, come in. N nice to see you. How's your weekend going? But yeah, those are the old school dwarves for sure. I remember them. I haven't seen them in a video game in a long time though now. You doing okay and you? I'm doing quite good as well. It's been good, it's been busy. And it's been very rainy today to be honest. Like the whole weekend, if I had anything planned for today, it was messed up. The weather has been horrible, unfortunately. But yeah, at least I'm, I'm, at least I'm enjoying uh, the game. I don't know if you ever played this one. It's a remaster of the game that was out 20 something years ago now. But it's, uh, it's one of my favorites for sure, of all times even. Sadly, almost always rains there. Ah, so you're used to it. Yeah, over here, like in the last three to four months, it rain it's rained like maybe three times. So we are really not used to it. <laughs> we are not used to it. And uh, so when it does rain, and today it's actually rained a lot. It's so weird. It's so very weird. It rains about 250 days a year, so you're really used to it. I'm guessing you just have to like it. Regardless of the fact you want to like it or not, you, you just end up liking it because it's normal. The same way over here, like being very, very, very warm. You know, even if you don't like the warmness, you just end up just accepting it and even liking it to a certain point. Okay, guys, the Dwarf Chieftain, this is the boss of this area. Halt, humans, we cannot permit you to advance any further. Dafty Dwarf, the Hydra is a tutelary deity of this forest, high ho. Without it, the forest will die. Should you still wish to advance, you will have to get past us. Prepare for battle, wicked humans. You don't care anymore? Like, I don't think about it? Yeah, it's become like a normal thing, so... I'm guessing it's more weird at the moment when it doesn't really rain, and when it's like very sunny than when it rains. But yeah, like over here, it's so uncommon, so... Wait, what's this? I know, this, uh, this boss... This was one of the first hard bosses for me back when I played the game like 20 something years ago. This was one of the very first ones that was hard for me. I don't remember why though. Maybe just because there's so many of them. Simply because like there's like five of them. Actually six even. There's six enemies to actually deal with in this fight. And it can be overwhelming. Like if you start missing with your attacks, if you start missing you're in deep trouble. It's very hard to recover. If you're lucky and you don't miss, especially like on the first two or three enemies like this, you can actually get far in very quickly. Okay. No, but the wrong spell. Oh. Have you played the game, by the way, Aurelia? This one? I know I know you you appreciate and like the old school games like me. But I don't know if you ever had a chance to check it out yourself back then. Uh. Oh no, this might actually be the end of Pierre. Right, we are dead. We are dead. Not good. Uh, oh, and I messed up. Oh, I messed up as well. Okay, let's hope Serge is not gonna miss. Please don't miss. Oh, he missed. Okay, okay. It's fine, it's fine. We can actually heal up. 9, 18. High Ho War Cry. What is that now? Please don't do damage. Oh! Trap! Uh, <laughs> we have to cure up, we actually have to heal up. Um, I wanted to re I wanted to revive Pierre, but I can't do it now. Ah, you haven't played it, okay. So basically, a quick explanation for you. Uh, it's part of the small franchise of Chrono Games. There's Chrono Trigger and Chrono Cross. They came out like 1996 and I believe 1998 or 9. It's a long time ago. And it's a, it's a game primarily about alternate realities, alternate dimensions. So there's two dimensions in both of the now. games. And you kind of tend to explore what would have been. Like it's like the whole concept is what would have been. You know, you are at one point in your life and you have a decision to make. So one dimension is what would have happened if you went to this path and the other dimension is what would have happened in this path. And then you kind of, you know, juggle between that, you know, use every single you know dimension to make certain decisions and things like that hey chris put a small franchise down now i mean it is a small franchise it's only two games man you know nowadays two games only that's not really big i mean like four or five games in the current franchises okay do i have any healing though i have 
which I need to use on Corsair because Corsair has got no HP at all. Yeah, I think Chris is like on 100 hours in Graveyard Keeper by now. Funny thing though, so Chris started playing Graveyard Keeper and like last night, uh, somebody I follow on Twitter mentioned being obsessed with Graveyard Keeper as well. Kind of found it funny, like, as soon as I noticed Chris playing that game, like, I can start noticing the messages on Twitter about the game as well. You know, never noticed it before then. <laughs> Maybe I just haven't paid attention to, you know, Graveyard Keeper. Like the words it said. Okay, let's hold that game. Yes, okay, but it's only three of them remaining. But this sounds, this looks extremely weird, guys. Like, I think this should be harder. Like, I think something is, is missing over here. Okay, I'm dead. Oh, I'm not dead. Okay, thank God. I got a feeling something is missing. Chuck Shake, cure Pierre. Uh, actually, I'm not gonna, he uh, I'm not gonna heal up just yet. Because I think I know what's gonna happen next. Playing the DLC for free is a nice bonus as well. Oh, wait, it's free. That's very cool. That's very nice. Is that a game by like an in the, in the developer as well, like uh, like uh, Stardew Valley Chris? So it's like one guy making it or like maybe like a very, very small team. It's free for me, not you. Why is it free for you and not us? Why are we being excluded from that? I guess that's because you played the game and unlocked it somehow by playing it normally. I think I'm gonna be missing my healing, right? Yep, I don't have a heal. Uh, nice lens, I guess. Okay. Uh, as long as Serge doesn't get attacked, I'll be okay. I don't know if I can talk about it on stream, I'd be... Oh, really? Oh, okay. <laughs> In that case, don't talk about it. Oh, no, please don't attack uh, Serge or Korcha. Oh, he survived with 3 HP, wow. Oh, I'm, I'm risking it, guys. Pirate, Chris doesn't pirate games, though. There's no way he's done that. He's thrown. I've not seen Chris pirate any game just yet. Knows he's in the UK where he might get... Uh, Arrested if he does something like that. I don't think he would risk it. Right, Christopher? He wouldn't risk it. Use Scream API and you unlock the DLC for a game you legitimately own. Oh, really? That's actually true? Okay. Ding! Ding, 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 guys. And for some, like Graver Keeper, you just need to download the DLC files and put them in the folder. Oh, interesting. Okay. Never heard about uh, Cream API, to be honest. Too strong, are we unable to stop them? Well, sadly, something is even something even worse is coming our way out. Oh wait, you see guys, there's a there's a chest over there. You see that? Oh there's a chest over there. Uh, let me save the game before I continue. I have a better version of it, it does everything automatically, just a few clicks. Christopher, Christopher. Medicine. Didn't think you're doing it like a, Didn't think you're doing that. It seems Chris is doing that as well. You befalder of the forest, human vermin. Prepare to receive the anger of nature that you so deserve. I mean, in a way, you kind of have to be, feel bad for the dwarves over here, young. Uh, because dwarves are actually trying to protect the forest. If the Hydra is dead, the forest dies out. They are trying to protect it. So this is... A, so you remember what I said before about two dimensions, like two pathways. So this is the path where the Hydra is alive and the forest is blooming with life. In the other dimension, the Hydra has been killed off and the forest died out, is filled with poison gas now and nothing can survive in it. So in a way, the dwarves are doing a good deed, but we, the humans, of course, are being greedy again and are destroying the whole forest for the benefit of one person. You didn't find it weird I had all DLCs and the Dying Light? No, I thought you just found a, bought it, you know, found a dis discounts and things like that, man. 
long as he keeps quiet, he will be fine for, for you over the deck. <laughs> this feels like hell ain't my ball. I can't believe there's a Hydra before my eyes. It's coming. Alright guys, so this is the last fight of this area. A Hydra. I just hope, even though it's gonna be normal, I just hope it's not gonna be able to mass poison my whole team. Look at the size of that monstrosity compared to my team. It's huge. Please tell me there's no dwarfs alongside it. There's no, right? Okay, it's Hydra and Hydra alone. Okay. Don't miss. I, oh, you know, starting the fight with two misses, you might as well give up straight away. Like, you might as well just give up. Oh, 33 damage straight away on the very first hit. Ooh, 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 ooh. Miss again. That's just horrible, horrible start by me on. Serge again. I'm gonna start. Hit or miss, I bet you always me. Ha ha ha. Oh, that's a song that I uh, We have to heal Serge. We have to heal Serge. I don't want him to start on a bad note. I mean, he did, but the HP wise at least. Okay, so he's yellow, that means green should be good against him. Against it, even, I guess. Korcha, don't take too much damage. Good job, Korcha! Good job, mate! Uh... Ah, he's got heal as well. Bushwhacker, okay. So technically, Bushwhacker should be dealing decent damage now when it's two out of three elements are green. I mean, it should, but this, uh, my characters deal no magical damage except Sage, it seems. Also, something happened to Serge. He suddenly started dealing half the damage he was dealing before. What's that? Ooh, god damn, that's a lot of damage we just took. Uh, huh. I'm not gonna use my mass healing just yet. Then, by daylight, night, when think he became cross and epic and steam. Well, I need to get the game still, so I don't even have it, but once I do have it, I can definitely join you for that. In the meantime, you guys can organize something, I guess. Even though I don't know how many people actually have it, except you and uh, and 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 Candy. I know Chris has it, that much I do know. Of. Chris has it for sure. But I don't know about anyone else, though. Ah, Vivi has it, I think. I think Vivi has that by daylight as well, doesn't she? But I could be wrong. You got it on Epic and Steam, nice. So you don't even have to worry about which platform anyone else has it on. Okay, this is now a good time to use my healing next time around. Oh, you see this by the way, guys. So this means the next white spell is, uh, that Serge uses is, is gonna be done by character innate color white with three field effect of white. Oh man. And I miss, of course, I miss. Oh, come on, Sash! And I'm gonna die, most likely, because of you. Am I? Fuck! Come on! Oh, mate. Look at that, Korsha is gonna die as well, so will Sash, because they're all poisoned, most likely. And we are dead. I know, I know Hydra was a, was a hard enemy, I remember that. Oh my god, that's so lucky. I, I just strike the lucky node, y'all. Like the luckiest one I've seen in a while. Oh wait, I shouldn't be using that. Cure, let's cure Serge. To start with, we have to... You got the awakening thing? Awakening thing? Which one? You mean like a recover all? Or what do you mean? Recovery awakening thing? Who is it? That's it. Coach is not gonna get up anymore. I have no more revives. I am doomed. I am Tuto Finito. Those misses on the start definitely costed me too much. I mean, I can recover myself and Pierre, but that's it. Yeah, recover all have it, but Coach died. I don't know if, if I'm gonna be able to produce any results now. Yeah, this fight I remember it in the past. This was one of the most challenging fights of like the first part of the game. Like this Hydra does insane amount of damage. And he has really a lot of HP. 
Plus its AoE attack is really really strong. Like really strong. And also it messed up my my field effect by completely by now. It used to be full white, now it's like only one white. I'll have to defend. Use attack him. No, not him. Not him, dude. Not him! It's st still not being actually weakened by the way, it's still not being weakened. And how many times have I attacked it already by now? Is it? Oh, it's weakened! 94 damage! Wait, oh my god, that's gonna kill me most likely, isn't it? Oh wait, defense temporarily increased? Spirits up? Oh, it actually inc increased his and, and actually reduced mine. What do I have? Anything? Oh, I have Cure 1. Okay, I can survive for a bit longer. I have Cure 1. Can I do it, actually? It's Serge against the world. Miss! Miss! <laughs> miss! He's really got to miss the next one. Oh no, I, I end up missing it. Okay, I have to kill the boss in this hit, guys. What do I have? Ice Lance. If he doesn't die now and I don't miss, I'm dead. I mean, I don't uh, dodge from that. For that's enough, right? It's not. Dodge! 33. <sighs> if Korcha survived that attack, I would have been fine. If Korcha survived. But he didn't. Yeah, this was a tough... This is always a tough fight. And I'm also I'm gonna have to do something about uh, healing. Uh, I think I think I need to give Korcha healing as well. I, do, I don't think he's got it for some reason. I didn't give him the healing. One moment. Let's have a look. So Korcha, Korcha, Korcha. Does he have anything? He's got one heal. Okay, that's fine. He's got one healing. Uh, I'm gonna give him. Five tablets as well, and I'm gonna give Korcha the antidotes as well, so that way he can maybe. I mean, I'm not. I don't think I'm gonna use it anyway, but just you know, just to be safe, I guess. And I guess this enemy, I'm also gonna, gonna give him that. Let me see what else do I have that I can maybe use. Uh, made out of copper, magic ring, uh, magic defense. He's got the most amount of HP, so maybe for him, I should give this one that increases magic attack. Changes weapon element to that of last element attack received. Well, let's go again. Oh wait, that chest is not looted for some reason. Okay, second time lucky guys, second time lucky. The most annoying thing is the fact you have to go through the conversation every single time, but there's not too much in this case, I think. Okay, so, a little bit of luck needed this time. To start with, I cannot be starting the, the fight by missing two out of four attacks. So, to, to prevent that, oh my god, I just went in, <laughs> even though I didn't want to do it. I went in. Worked out, thankfully. Okay, that's a good start. Without missing? Awesome. Awesome. That's what you wanna do. Not miss on the first attacks. That's a good, good start. 106. Ooh, let's go. Let's go, let's go. I like to ride the wave of fortune. Putrid odor. Okay, that's the poison thing, you know? I'm not gonna remove it, actually. It takes way too long to remove it. And uh, it's just very, very hard to actually... I mean, it's not very hard, it's a very long process. You lose like the whole turn to remove it. In that time you take damage, so you need to heal at the end as well. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Actually, let's heal up Pierre for now. Let's heal Pierre up for now. 
Epic has achievements for games, however, some give you trophies and XP and some don't. Depends on the games. Interesting. Is it like the newer games give it and the older games don't? I could see that being like the case, like, because sometimes, you know, obviously if it's a newer game, like a lot more thought gets put into how, like, all of those smaller things. Like, for some of the older games, I'm guessing they don't put that much effort. They just like release it and make sure it's over there. You can buy it and download it and that's it. That's good, Pierre actually has full HP. And Pierre boys. Depends on the devs since Epic release tools to... Ah, so basically devs have to be the one doing that. All right, okay. All right, interesting. Uh, let's heal. Korcha. The full green Korcha should get the maximum healing out of this. 39, that's not max. That is not max, yo. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. That is not max. Pierre almost dead. Okay, next turn is gonna be when Serge uses the cover all. Uh, let me see. Headbutt. Just headbutt, actually. Headbutt usually does a lot of damage. Wait, I just realized that Serge and Korsha avoided the poison of the last one. Oh, lucky. Oh no. Okay, he's alive, thank god. Yes! Woohoo! Okay, this is big. This is big. I actually managed to get to this point and use recover all. Even though Pierre is still kind of lowish, but he's gonna be above 80, so that's fine. Missed! Okay, Serge. Okay, that's good that he attacked Serge. So he's got by far the most amount of HP. Oh my god, now it's starting to fall apart. Uh, let's heal Serge. I need to make sure Serge is alive, and plus Pierre can use whole summon himself next time around to heal up. He doesn't need a cure. Wait, how did you miss? Oh no. Oh, miss! Please! Miss on some characters at least. Oh, it's nice. Only Serge didn't actually. Nice, nice, nice. Meteorite plus two. Wait, what else do I have? Aqua B, my slash, antidote. Tablet. That recovers HP. That's not worth it. Aqua B plus one might be more worth it. Actually no, I'm gonna go for the for the meteorite plus two because I wanna be using like I wanna use Serge's uh, hardest hitting spells on the next turn if I can somehow. If I don't end up dying accidentally. Yes. Yes! Okay. No not not Pierre! Of all the characters, Pierre is the only one I didn't want you to attack. Literally, he's the only one I wanted to survive. He's the only one I wanted to not get hit. Okay. Okay, that's also gonna increase the white power. Nice. Nice. Where is my healing? Okay, Mendelssohn. Do I have any? I don't. Okay, let's heal Pierre. Let's heal Pierre. Okay, we are all on good HP. I know next couple of turns, Hydra will actually buff himself up. So that's gonna help me out a bit at least. Is it? Wave of Fear? No, that, which one is that? Oh, that is the one that re reduces defense and this is the one to increase defenses, okay. Okay, what do we have now? Gravity, Blow... Okay, we have to, we have to buff it up a bit by white. Buff up the field effect by white. Okay, because now who says is low HP as... Defend, defend... Please don't attack Korcha, good. Oh yes, lucky! And 18 only to 20. Watch is gonna be defending. Awesome. Oh man, I survived only thanks to the defense, as I would have been dead. Yes, yes, yes. Dash and slash. Okay, let's go for dash and slash. 40 something maybe? 31. Still not enough to defeat him. But I'm getting there. 
Eight. Well. Oh yes! Oh my god! Oh, 42 from that attack! What is that? I don't have any healing. <laughs> I don't have any healing. If Serge gets hit, he's dead next turn. Serge is literally the only one who can deal serious damage. Oh, please. Hydra. Yes, it's dead. Oh, yeah, this... Even on my first playthroughs, no matter how many times, this boss always gave me the most issues. It's just... It's very, very challenging. There we go. But good decisions have been made, and definitely buffing the... the field effect of white helped out a lot. With, that, with those last few white attacks, I did. Ding! Level 10, guys! Na 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 and we also got a very strong yellow element. What do you humans intend to do with our mother planet? Not thinking of the future, cutting down trees like there's no tomorrow, burning the forest to make your times even bigger. Wait, this guy's talking about real life, obviously. Do you think that you are the only ones who live on this planet? Do you even know that life forms other than yourself get up to? Don't kid yourself, you're just hairless apes or wars, hi ho. You're nothing more than freaks of, of, of evolution. I mean, the guy's right. I've said it before. It's talking sense. We are doing everything for the benefit of one. Which is the same what people do in real life. Especially people higher up. Sacrifice everything for the benefit of one. There's not a single dwarf roaming this forest anymore. Have they abandoned this place? Yes, I guess they did. Ah, we are out of it straight away like that noise. That's because Hydra is dead, my friend. The forest is dead. That's all that's happened. Okay, so we got poison now, which means we have to return to another world. Okay, let's go to Pasta Beach again. So, this is our first foray into this the dimension sorted out now. Astro amulet, let's use that. Now we have to go back and save Kid. Sadly, I think we lost the chance to recruit my good old friend Glenn. So Glenn, I think, is going to be skipped on this playthrough, unfortunately, even though that was not my intention. Maybe he's gonna be available later on, but I don't think so. I don't think so. Let's watch it. I am kind of curious what's happening in this version of Hydra Marshes though, guys. What is happening here? There's enemies over there, obviously. There's NPCs as well. Aha! There's a safety... Aha! There, there's a safety gear up here somewhere. Like the team has it available for me, nice. Awesome. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure where they are though, but they should be around here somewhere, right? And also there's no enemies in this area, which is kind of interesting. Because the last, like in the other dimension, there's plenty of enemies around here. Wait, it's actually snowing in Bosnia in this month? Wow. <laughs> Nice! I mean, nice, I guess? I mean, it would be nice for me, but I like snow. <laughs> Damn, that's actually very interesting. But, like, when was the last time it actually snowed, like, almost midway through the April, man? Is, does it... I don't think it happens usually, does it? Probably something that's, like, a very uncommon... Uh, very uncommon event. Or is it? Imagine if it actually snows over here. Ooh. What does that mean? Okay, so I have the I have the thingy that can actually bend the things. Ooh, almost got pulled that enemy. Bushwhacker, nice. Bushwhacker is good to be honest. Uh pop 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 green things are right. Let's see. I know there's a chest around here, right? Is 
there's nothing here, though. What is that? Oh, we found a... We found a third piece of his body as well, guys. Nice. We only need, I think, one more, if I'm not mistaken. Only the legs, maybe, or something like that. Nice. Awesome. One step closer to our goal. We need to somehow get around that enemy without pulling it. I don't think there's anything around here, is there? Oh, wait, that's where it came from. Where is the... Oh, wait, the other way is actually leading to where the dwarf fight was, right? Yeah, 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 it's leading where the dwarf fight was in the, la in the, in the last world. Can I pull that without actually pulling the enemy? Oh, yeah, I can't use... Oh, lucky. And there's a chest in the same place as it was in that other dimension, by the way. <laughs> wait, but I, I think that's a crafting material. That's nothing more than that. Oh, there's enemies over there. Uh, tablet. Okay. But this should dead yet. This and this is not post fight. This is just normal enemies. Oh, ha ha ha! A rare flower that only be growing in the poisonous marshes. Finally, it be ours. All because the hydra be extinct now. Oh, ha ha ha! <laughs> you must destroy the ecosystem that kept the water clean. What did I tell you before? This game has actually very deep messages to you guys. I don't know if you paid attention, but a lot of the times when characters are speaking and whatnot, you can kind of, you know, extract a message. Like, they want to send something. That's one of the reasons I always kind of liked it. And Hydra is the only reason that the dwarves stuck around, and the dwarves were also protecting the, the forest, obviously. Without the Hydra, there's no more dwarves, which means, you know, Criminals and whatnot can invade it and do whatever they want. <clears throat> no, no, they must be pretty weak from the poison. Let's have fun with them. Yeah, good luck with that, mates. They don't know we have the poison as uh, protection gear. They don't know about that. Snob goblin. Wait, where's the big one though? There's like two small ones. Why? Would have been 60 damage done if I didn't miss out. Uh, dash and slash. For 42 damage. I'm gonna guess. 42 damage. 63? Wow, very, very nice. Considering that there was no white buff on the, on the area, that's actually a lot. Even Pierre is doing some serious damage to these enemies. That tells you all about their defenses. <laughs> If Pierre can do it, everyone can. I think the only thing that Pierre has over everyone else is his avoidance seems to be higher, so he seems to be dodging attacks a bit more often, that's it. And everything else he seems to be weaker than most of the other characters. It's a shame. Oh my god, I missed like two attacks of medium. I missed two medium attacks. Don't know how that's possible. What is that? Good job, Pierre! Not missing a single one. Good job. There we go, 80 damage from a critical hit. Now that's what we are talking about, Sergi boy. recover all always comes in handy. Now let's see what's over here by the way. Oh it's life sparkle! That's the thing we need for Pip, not for Pip sorry, for uh, Finn the life, um, or whatever his name is I forgot. For the small one, up there on the top of the manor I mean. That's the one we need for that. So it means we can go there and revive it now as well, nice. Is that like the only thing over here, right? Uh, okay, that's it. Okay, we just said it. Uh, where is the item? Aha, uh -huh. it's all the way down here somewhere for some reason. Okay. I mean, I'm sure at this point I could also go back and defeat that. Uh, enemy uh, that killed me last time, you know, that boss where you have to save the small 
very. I think I, could, I, I would be able to beat it now, right? More HP. Uh, I can even actually equip. Uh, let me see, magic. 12, 6, 8. I can equip this one as well. Upheaval, which is really strong. Temporarily decreases foe's attack hit percent. No, that's actually not bad at all. That is not bad at all, y'all. Bad eye. That's actually really nice. If it works on the bosses, it's even better, to be honest. I don't know if it does work on the bosses, though. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so, now we have that. Uh, we have everything from here, I think. Okay, which means we can go and save kill that, I think, at this point. Oh. Well, there's gonna be a reason for me to go back to the manor anyway. Okay, so I don't have to do it now. I don't have to go there now and actually get that character to join my party. I can do it later. All right, we are ready to go back to Galdov. So, yes, let's return. We have, this, we have the thingy now. I am gonna get a drink, guys, while the boat is going. I'm gonna get a drink and a cookie. Grab it. Actually dumps us. Oh, interesting. Yeah. He's got my items and my trinkets. Present you with Hydra Humor. <laughs> I think it would be kind of hard for this guy to understand where we got it from. <laughs> Just tell him we found it in another dimension of the same universe. Yeah, he's gonna believe that, sure. You heard the dog. We've done all we can. Just trust him and wait. What do we need to do now? I guess we're gonna go to sleep for a while. It's already close to nightfall. Doc, how is she? Will she be alright? Yes, she has passed a critical period. There's no signs of complications from the poison. The girl has held up well, but only thanks to you dudes. You have done the impossible by finding the antidote. I still cannot believe it. You, with the red Montana, you are Serge, correct? She'd like to speak with you. It will be a little while longer before she falls asleep from the anesthetic. Will you speak with her, dude? Why does he, he... He refers to everyone as dudes. <laughs> kind of funny. Even I started using dude recently for some reason a bit here and there. I've never used it before. Before it was always mate, now it's dude. 
I'll be in that room next door, so call me when you need me. And do not forget that even though the poison is gone, she has not completely recovered. Well then, catch you later, dude. Yeah, he's a hippie for sure. He's like a hippie dog. Yo, dude, I can heal you. <laughs> hippie dog. In the village of Galdo. See, you become bloody handsome while I was out of it. I don't know all the details, but I heard what happened from the dog. Looks like there's been a lot going on while I was asleep. I guess it proves that you can take care of yourself now, eh? Oh, Serge, you did good, mate. Why don't you look cheerful for a change? Ha, huh, I wouldn't be alright without any antidote at all. I would have been alright, no, you wouldn't. You would be dead, kid. Served, now we are one. Thanks. Man, the music is just so sad. A world different from our own. That is far out, man. That there really is such a thing. Come on, dude, you expect me to believe that? And you dudes are from this other world, I presume. Just to make it clear, Doc, the only one that's from the other world is Serge. All the others, including myself, are from this world. We are all here for different reasons, though. Aha! <clears throat> me what with Sergi Pot too? Well, Sergi is actually from another world. He came from me from the original world. Another world? So I suppose some things are slightly different. The Hydra marshes are a good example of this. Otherwise, we would, we would have never found a Hydra in this world. Parallel worlds never to cross each other, yet existing alongside one another. Yeah, Doc, that's nothing too deeply about this. There's no easy way to explain it, even after going through it myself, I still doubt what I saw. Let's just drop the theories. The girl's been saved, that's all we need to know, right? Well, I guess you're right. I cannot find an answer to this by thinking about it on my own. Oh, he's gonna join us. We've been talking for quite some time, let's call it a night. One good day's rest should be enough to let her get up and hang ten. And hang ten? What? I guess that means like, recover fully or what? Weird way of saying, get better. What is that? Oh, it's Mel! What did she come? She came to steal something, I feel. That's Korcha's sister, a little Mel. The one we found playing with a cat previously when we were visiting Galdo for the first time. She stole something. She stole something. I don't know what though, I don't remember. I think Doc is going to join us at this point as well, right? Oh, kid is back to life. What you gonna do, Serge? You already found a way back to your own world, right? You could just go home and live a peaceful life, pretending that never ever happened, that nothing ever happened. But can you really forget everything you've seen here? Can you live with yourself if you turn your back on us? Oh, cutscene. What about it? The witch, indeed, stealing like that from sickly. How dare you, Mel? Now, come to me, Serge. You know what? There's one thing in video games I like when they mention the name of the video game in, in the in the in the cutscenes, in the conversations, and whatnot. Even though Crown Trigger is not the name of the current game, it is the name of the previous game. I see. Then I'll stick around which are a while longer. But just don't slow me down, you hear? Sure thing. I don't know what happened 10 years ago, but it looks like Wiper's mom have got something to do with it. Let's go after him. I need to go bash up that Link's character and get my hands on the frozen flame. Link's... He stole something precious for me. He's taken away my future. I'll find him, no matter what it takes. Korcha, how did you help in the search too? Hmm, it was nothing. Well, Pierre helped as well. Why is nobody thanking Pierre? Pierre was there from the start though. 
At one point I thought we were doomed for sure, but it looks like it's all settled now. All that's left to do is take you guys back to Tedna, right? My job ends there. Got a special discount price for 300g for the round trip. Sorry, but I need to make a living too. Uh, he's gonna join us, I'm sure, right? Shouldn't have thanked you earlier. Yeah, that's what Mel stole. She's looking for something at Mel stole. Okay, we're gonna have to talk to Mel, see what happened. What is it? You're looking for something? Yeah, the elements I had on my gear are gone. Ah, so Mel stole the elements. Why wouldn't Serge do that? Hmm. The only ones looking over you while we were gone were the doc and the nurse. They should be in the room next door, so let's ask him if when we head out, okay. I mean it happened midnight, so I kind of doubt they will know what happened. Maybe? I know Doku is going to join us now. Oh, there she is. There's Mel. Hey, Mel. What cha doing? Hey, Blondie. If you want your stuff back, I'll challenge you to catch me. Okay. Yeah, she stole our elements, obviously. What is it, dude? Is Mel up to something again? Well, yeah. Same old mischief, but... This time she's gone too far. Jeez, that idiot. What is she thinking? I don't get it. I'm sorry about her kid. I'll get the stuff back from her later. So go easy on her, alright? Ah, oh, that's no issue. They ain't anything I'll suffer without anyway. Not to be rude, but I don't have time to play around with brands. Gotta go chase after Lynx. Wait, but... You need those elements. The coach has said that he'll get them back later. We don't have time to waste. Ain't that right, Sage? Come on, mate. Let's go. I'm gonna go after Mel because I get the feeling that might be the way to recruit Mel at this early stage. Can I choose the party? Ah, oh, it's me, Mel, and Korcha. Beginning to wonder if curing you was the right course of action. Such a ruckus in the clinic interferes with my work, but I guess your antics are proof for you. I know he wants to join us. When is that gonna happen? Let me go again. I think it might happen like at the end of our time in, in Galdovi. So when we are supposed to leave, I think he might join us then. I know he will though, that's for sure. Uh, where's the guy that actually sells stuff? Is that this the guy that sells? Let's see, does he have anything new for Korcha? Oh, I don't have lead. Oh wait, I should rather do it at Smithy. I'm gonna do that Smithy rather later on because Smithy has better weapons than this guy has. I think Smithy in general has the best weapons you can find in the game. And later on you can give him like a special material. And that special material can actually be used I think to, to craft even better weapons I believe. Okay, this is Mel's house so... She should be around there somewhere. Probably on the bottom floor. Hell? No? Oh. Well, she's not here though. Hmm. Where is she? I thought she was here actually. Or I remember something about the letter in her room, but there's no letter as well. Is she around here? Maybe she's on the top floor. Yes. Wait, is, does she know? I don't know. Let's check the top floor. Maybe she's up there. I mean, there's not there's not too many places she could have gone to, so. So she's not over here as well. Uh, that must that must mean she's in that tent where Lena is and the dragon uh, whisperer, whatever his name is. Must mean she's over there then. Or maybe in this one where the vendors are. Let me check it out. Maybe here? I don't remember this part, like, really. Uh, it's been a long time since I've done it last time. And this is like a small event. And I think generally I just decide to skip on that and I like leave it without her. Mind that? By the way, have you seen Mel around here? We're looking for her right now. 
Mel. Mm, no, I haven't seen her today. Have you tried the residential tower? Well, she hasn't come this way. Hmm, thanks for the info. She hasn't come this way. The only place left is the residential tower. Wait, the residential tower is the one I've checked, right? That's the one I've been to, y'all. Uh, so, wait, what? Oh, that's Mel. There she is. Okay, we found her. <laughs> found you, kiddo. She's heading for the residential tower. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's the place where Korch actually lives with her mom, with his mom. This is the end. There's no place to run. So what are we gonna do? If all three of us barge at once, she's gonna escape. There are three exits from this tower. If we each go through a different exit, there's no escape. She's just gonna use the rope, y'all. You know that. Don't you dare let Mel get outside. Leave it to me, bro. Okay, in that case, it should be easy if this guy is guarding the exit. There's two exits left. You gonna end up with some manpower to spare. So who's gonna be guarding the main entrance then? Ah, we found her, never mind. <laughs> you idiot, that's what I get for messing with my customers. But I'm not gonna forgive you just because you cried. That should be good enough. We got me stuff back and there's been no harm done. Even so, we have to teach this kid some proper manners. You never know when she might do it again. Not to worry about such minor stuff. I say it's already forgiven, let's just leave it at that. Besides, the little son got some guts to steal from a member of the Radical Dreamers. I think she's know who that is? I oh, know. <laughs> let's just call me a little un. I've got a name too, you know? Smell. Oh, feisty. So she's got the real spirit, you know? Were you crying just now, or were you just faking? I tell ya, she's gonna be a real mean one when she grows up. What you mean by that? Whoops, I guess you are still a little un. Don't you call me a little un. Are you sure that you want to leave it at that? I just don't get ya. Oh well, no use bothering with it now. Then I'll go ahead and wait for you at the docks. Come and find me when you're ready to go. I wonder if... I know she's recruitable at one stage, I think. Not sure if it's now. Let's see. Oh, okay. It's not now, right? Uh, strength 8. Okay, we take Pashur with us, because I would like to take Pierre again, but he just deals no damage. Without... Uh, without... Quarch uh, in my group, it's all Okay, so I cannot recruit her now, okay. We have to come back for her some later stage in the game then. I don't remember when, but I'll check here every now and then. And I, I, in the Ultra Dimension, I don't think she's alive even. Or maybe... No, she's not. No, she's not. That's a different timeline. So I do need to check up on here sometimes. But Doc is not going to join us, it seems, y'all. Don't know why. Let's just see. Maybe if I can talk to him again, maybe he will change his mind. Okay, he's sitting now. I see you are going to continue your journey. Try not to take too many risks. One must live strongly because life is limited. Yeah, he's not gonna join us, Jan. I think he only joins you if you decide to not help kid. So if you help kid, you get Korcha and... Uh, uh, Korcha. If you don't help her, you get Glenn and Doc, I think. If I'm not mistaken. I would much prefer to have Doc and Glenn. Korcha left the party. He'll, be, he'll get back down, you know that. I think when we get across to Terminus, to Termina, I think he's gonna return then. And I think soon we should get access to his boat as well, so we can travel all over the place, I believe. And most of the places that we can travel to are going to be kind of locked out anyway, but still. Ah, so he's not gonna join me just yet, okay. Interesting. I think Korcha played me. I think Korcha might have played me, to be honest. 
Uh, so where, where do I go now? Uh -huh. Oh, there's Glenn. Okay, so Glenn might actually join me still. Maybe I was wrong. The general and his men are headed for Fort Dragonia. There's been word that the major power of the East, Boar, is up to something suspicious. They seem to have heard rumors of the frozen flames being in El Nido, and are coming to investigate. My! Then that means the poor army might invade this town any time now. I wonder if we'll be alright. Yes, that is why we are moving to the fort for a while. That fort is far from the town, so it's not used normally, but it's got good defenses. I was ordered to remain at the manor and protect Miss Riddle, but... She felt very uneasy about the way General Viper was acting before he left. So... Did you hear that? While I was snoozing away in Galdovy, Lynx and his mob hightailed it out of the manor. That fort supposedly a ruin built by extinct Dragonians. I heard there have been all kinds of mystic rituals there. It's said that a dragon tail was needed for the ritual. Bloody bastards, what are they up to now? If we don't stop these bu buggers now, they're gonna cause a major hell around here. For Dragonia eat on the top of Mount Pyre. Tau it off here. Be hard to get there by hand though. Quite and now with how we are going to get a boat. <laughs> you heard us talking. Blonde braids, a blood red blouse. That sounds like the description of that tea from the Radical Dreamers. Yes, it is I. And that red bandana, he's just like the ghost Cash was describing. So what? You wanna take us on or something? Sorry, Dory, but we're going. But we are in a bit of a rush. That Fort Dragonia of yours. What business do you have at the fort? That makes me even more suspicious. I will draw my blade if need be. <laughs> and stopping for ya. See ya. All right. Forgive me for my rush behavior. Come to think of it, I really have no interest in who you are. Really, I only want to know the truth of what is happening here. I shall follow my own way to find- No, Glenn! Join us! If you intend to go to the fort, I would offer you a word of advice. When you get on your boat- Oh, wait. I- I- Crap! I made a mistake, I skipped. The retired dragoon lives there. Find him and ask for his advice. There are many frightful rumors about that fort, you know? You never know what to expect there. Yeah, I don't think Glenn is gonna join us. Oh man, I like him. Glenn not gonna be part of my team anymore, it seems. So we need a, we need a boat now, and obviously the way to get a boat is going to be... Uh, obviously with Korcha. But I'm just kind of thinking... Um, I'm gonna try to see if I can craft a new weapon for Kid in the meantime. I'm not gonna waste my materials crafting for Poshur because I think I, she's gonna get replaced anyway. But Kid is not gonna get replaced for now at least. Let me see. Uh, dagger. Ah, I need iron. I need. I, I might be able to disassemble something though. Oh, Iron Sword. Oh, that's a good item, though. Sorceries? Iron. Oh, Silver Earning. What's that? Uh, what about the weapon for... I don't have the mats. I really need materials, the guys. Like, I so much need materials. But I'm not getting too many of them. Even though I'm fighting... I've killed so many bosses so far, and I'm also fighting all kind of enemies I can find along the way. But I've just not been lucky enough to find too many materials yet that are needed, like iron and copper. Need to get lucky on that. Let's see if he's gonna take... Let's see if he's going to give me my boat. His boat. You guys need to cross the sea? That I might, just might, think about landing you my boat on two conditions. What's a clunky boat of yours? I don't think we are gonna survive a round trip, but I guess this ain't the time to be picky. So, Korcha, what are your conditions? 
First, if we ever find a dragon dead, you know, the other condition is once all the shakos is over, I want you. What was that? Stop mumbling, and speak up. I, oh, I want you to be my. <laughs> He's got two conditions: kill to marry him, and to get a dragon tail. If he said he wants some money, and he can join our team, sure. But he's asking a bit too much. I want you to be my wife. Don't mess with me. I'm gonna kick your eyes so hard you'll kiss the moons. I'm not joking. To tell you the truth, I. Uh, <clears throat> this is it was <clears throat> love at first sight. Oh, you know who I am, don't you? Yeah, you're some kind of a thief, ain't you? Don't you worry, I don't care about your past and I don't want you to feel forced. We can wait until this fuss is over, so please. Hmm. <laughs> Just tell him that you're real. Oh, she actually high kicked him. This is none of your business, it's my own problem. Okay, understood, but this ain't something I can agree to on a whim. I'll consider it, but not until I settle the score with Lynx. That's about the best I can promise. I can't guarantee you anything more. What was that thing let's say? Something about going to see an old man on a small island to do this. Ah, okay, so that's the part of the conversations I missed out, okay. You be careful with yourself from now on. Just remind her that your life is not your own anymore. You're caring my wife to be. She's gonna kiss him so hard. Yeah, why not? Come with me, Korcha. Also, Korcha can join me again now. Not for sure, because Korcha is more fun. Oh, this is the dream team almost. Serge, Kid, and Korcha. What more could I be asking for? <laughs> Sucks about Glenn, though, but... Yeah, I think I can forget about Glenn on this playthrough. Unfortunately, messed up. I messed up. Alright, so guys, we have access to the boat now. By the way, we have access to the boat. First thing first, upstairs you're not able to go. This is the Earth Dragon Isle. Which as far as I remember is not really available right now. Most of these islands are actually not really available. Let's put it like that, guys. Because there's nothing on them. Like, it, it all kind of unlocks throughout the story. Like, uh, Water Dragon Isle... There might be something over here in this world. But the real water dragon island where we need to go is gonna be on the main world. Sorry, it's gonna be in the other dimension. Like, see, this one is actually already... Uh, like, this this version of the water of the water isle, water dragon isle, is actually dry, dried out. In the real one, it's actually full of life and water. But this one is uh, completely dead, sadly. There's nothing on it. Everyone has, uh, you know... Oh, iron! There we go! I just can't be asked to go back now again and craft it, but at least I got it. There's another item over there. Hopefully I can skip the enemy. Can I? Can you move, please? Hello? Move! Thank you. Two irons! Oh, that's enough for two. That's enough for two weapons, actually, guys. That's actually enough for, for uh, to upgrade uh, both Serge, not Serge, sorry, uh, Korcha and Kid. Okay, I'll go back to I'll go back to Termina after I'm done here. Kid definitely is an upgrade. She's been missing out for a while now. Bro doesn't do that much damage. Let me see how much does she deal from like number three. Could be worse, I guess. Korcha. Oh yeah, see that he's dealing some decent amount of damage even though his weapon is still the most basic one. But he's dealing some good stuff. There you go. Uh, let me see if they will give me something. Maybe some materials I would like. Copper? I don't think they'll be giving me iron. Iron is hard to come by. They give you feather. I have plenty of feathers anyway, so that's it. Eh. Sadly, that's something to wood. I don't believe this island is fully accessible though. Oh, there's actually fairies. Have you come to this island seeking the dragon god? If so, please turn back now. Due to abnormal weather conditions, the fountain has run completely dry. This island, once called the Island of Springs, is desolate as you can now see. 
Yeah, this used to be full of life. You'll, as you will be able to see, guys, in the real in the real version of this game, of this world, of this island, I mean. Oh, there's a chest over here. Okay, another iron, maybe. <laughs> nice. Honestly, I went here just out of curiosity. I forgot it's got three irons. That's really good find. Yeah, so as you can see, it's not accessible anymore. I believe there will be a way to access it later, I think. Even though this is not the one where we story-wise will need to go. I believe there's gonna be a way to get there. Right, let's go back to the terminal now. I'm gonna craft the two weapons before, my, before I make my way actually with the story. story-wise next next thing we need to do is go well we need to go to that island on the east i think next we actually reach the boat where we have to deal with fargo and his team i think like fargo and his team are the next like big thing and that's where we're gonna be able to recruit one of, one of my favorite characters and he's gonna be staying in the group for the most part even though fargo doesn't really connect well with glenn uh, sorry with serge in terms of the combos it's a shame but Glenn is good with Serge, but sadly, Glenn is gone. Okay, so here we go, guys. Iron Dagger and uh, Iron... No, which one am I looking for? Iron Road, right? No. What the hell is he using? Oh, he's using Iron Lure. Okay. Okay, let's go, guys. So let's have a look now. So Kid, she gets from 20 attack, she goes to 25. Hey Neja, good evening. How do you do? How is your Saturday going? And he goes from 25 to 20. Okay, so he gets a smaller upgrade, but it's still big to be honest. It's still pretty good, to be, not gonna lie. Horrible, what do you mean? What happened? What's going on? Oh, you're sick still. Ah, oh, wait. I think you might have mentioned something in the last stream we were here, if I'm not mistaken. That you were sick. Yeah, yeah, I think you mentioned something, didn't you? Or am I going crazy now? I think you did. Okay, so, uh, Poshu has nothing. Who's the guy who has, like, some items equipped? Ah, it's Pierre. Pierre's got hero stuff, which he doesn't actually need. Uh -huh. Yeah, I think you might have. You might have. Is it is it better by now though? Are you feeling better or is it still as bad? Oh, 38.1 and you can't lower it. You've been to the do docks? I mean, it's weekend, so I guess you didn't go today. Maybe yesterday, did you go to your dock? Uh, in the, you know, house remedy, of course. Drink a lot of tea. Uh, Use the wet wipes, you know, cold wipes, put it on your, on the back of your neck and things like that. Always helps out me when I have a, when I have a fever. You were an idiot? Oh, okay, okay. You did the same thing that my IRL friend did. He was sick, same like you were, about 38 few, like, uh, I think last Monday. And on Tuesday he actually went to work, so it became even worse. So he came home after work and then he was feeling horrible for the next few days. Could barely get up. Okay, this is the hide where we were supposed to go, yeah? Okay. But yeah, I mean, listen. Um, let's take it easy, drink tea, you know, rest. Don't go anywhere, don't do anything. And I'm sure it's gonna... Hopefully it's gonna pass by, by Monday, you see? Still have tomorrow of the weekend, so hopefully it's gonna pass by the end of tomorrow. That's correct. Hmm, maybe not. Oh, it's hard. The correct answer is Aziz under Monsignor Lynx's orders. Salute, Serge. Did you must more? Not you again. Excuse me, Serge. But do you know why I burned this place to the ground? Tell me. Well, first of all, to teach you all a lesson, and second of all, to get rid of this geezer who lives here. He is an ally of the dragon of the Assassia Dragoons, and I hear he's quite skilled. I was disappointed to see that 
that guy's a reason here. I wonder where he went. Man, it's so hard to talk like that. And one more thing, sirs. Monsignor Link's game I another order. That is to slow your pursuit. Okay, that's my first fight against uh, Harleen. Obviously, it's the first of many, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. But this is the first iteration. And Finn, take all the time as you wish. Serge deals a lot more damage to her, by the way, because her innate color is black. So Serge is gonna be dealing some serious damage. See, with dash and slash straight away, you'll be able to notice that. It's gonna be about 50, 60 at least. 66! And usually he'll be dealing like 40 to 50 with that ability on the normal enemies. Ooh, even Kid is dealing some serious stuff right now. Oh, I forgot to give her the elements. I forgot to give Kid, kid the elements. Oh, we stole. What do we stole? One Photon Beam. That's fine, I guess. I think Photon Beam is an AoE white ability. Which is quite nice, I would say. Yeah, even Korcha is dealing some serious damage now, guys. And even Korcha has a white spell. Now we are speaking. Now we are talking. Ooh, nice. Very, very nice Korcha. Oh man, this is actually one of the easier fights I've had. Montillo, my is defeated. It's not gonna count as a boss fight, I believe, though. I don't think so, right? Yeah, it didn't count as a boss fight, sadly. And we got two photon beams, actually. Please, Ers, turn back now. She is nothing but bad luck. She will bring nothing but misfortune to your life. Okay, so let me see what did I get. Oh wait, that's a radius coming. I think that's radius. Yeah, that's radius, guys. You guys remember him from the start of the game? He was actually in the village of uh, Arnie on the start of the game. Actually, I see that you're not. It must have been that munchkin that just flew away. Miss Shriddle had informed me that Lynx and the General were heading to Fort Dragonia. I played it safe and went into hiding for a while. And it looks like Lynx did pay me a visit. I'm sure the General has no idea what happened here. Lynx is the one behind all this. And I have a feeling something like this might happen. That's why I made sure to build a sturdy stronghold underground. Are you here to ask me questions? Come, there's no need to be shy. Okay, first thing. So the photon beam, which I get. Aha! It is the one, okay. Ooh, that's actually really strong, yeah, the photon beam. I'm actually gonna put two of them. Gonna remove bush basher, I'm gonna give bush basher to, to, to kid. Also, let's give her some good stuff as well. Fireball. Like, a little bit of everything to her. She, she just needs to have some spells to start with. Because she's quite weak. Also, I need something strong for her. But I don't have anything really, really good. Just yet. But yeah, Serge having access to two photon beams right now. Don't you know how good that is. <laughs> Not one by two. And then he's also got dash and slash and photon ray as well. And a recover all, which is a major white spell. I see. Say how met Miss Riddle and Glenn. Yes, we did. Glenn didn't want to join us. Yes, I once wielded a sword as a proud member of the Asasia Dragoons. Glenn's father, Garai, the blacksmith Zappa, and I used to tear up the battlefield. Oh, Zappa was part of the gang, I actually forgot about that. That was a good 15 years ago. When Garai lost his life on the central continent, I vowed to become his son's guardian. He officially retired four years ago after Dario received his father's sword, the Islands Air. I've been here ever since, living a carefree life away from the rest of the world. However, Dari is no longer with us. Life is so unpredictable. It was then that Link's approached General Viper. He spoke of the legendary treasure, the Frozen Flame, which is able to heal all illnesses and fulfill any dreams. I do not know what this man Link is plotting, but I do believe General Viper intends to overthrow the nation of Por with the power of this legendary jewel. Por is a nation governed by militarism. It has brought suffering to many people on the central continent of Zenan. 
Perhaps the general envisions a bright and peaceful world, much like Garia was at one time. Or he's planning to find a way to find the answer as to why we have continued to hurt and kill each other since antiquity. In any case, I no longer wish to involve myself in any conflicts. Besides, there's no way I would want to face General in battle. Young one, should you plan to engage in battle with Lynx, beware. He is a fearsome man. I suggest you rest here for the night and leave in the morning. There are many cursed spirits wandering in the seas around here. Rumor has it they attack ships and suck the souls out of humans. I've heard rumors about this accursed ghost ship. What? A ghost ship? <laughs> You're trying to scare me, don't make me laugh. Do not take the sea lightly, young lady. Mankind only knows the land and the surface of the sea. No man can truly know what hides beneath the waves. Yeah, that's the next destination of ours, the ghost ship. It's one of actually... Not the most difficult area, but it's one of the most, like... Weird areas, let's put it like that. You know? <laughs> also, I seem to remember this area actually having some importance later on. Like, this is where I am having some importance at some stage later on. I don't know what kind of importance, but I know something. Take care of yourself. Bye! Just kind of hoping he's gonna join us now, but no, he joins us way, way later, sadly. Not just yet. This is way too early for my friend to join. Alright, let's go. So now, I mean, we don't have too many options now. I mean, everything is unlocked, but most of the areas are actually still... I mean, I can go here, maybe. One second. Maybe there's something to pick up. Like, on the last island, even though it was... The main part was inaccessible, there was still irons to pick. So the same could be the case over here, potentially. Because I can sprint like mad. Oh! Oh, we collected one more... One more... Uh, bone for Skelly! There you go. That's already good. I think we are missing only one or two more. Uh oh. Ooh. Careful. Oh, there's some idiots. I mean, there's some idiots. <laughs> there's some enemies around there. <laughs> I read your message again in my head, just as I was saying that, then I read it, there's some idiots instead of, instead of there's some enemies. <laughs> but yeah, there's some enemies around there, gotta be careful, yeah. I think there's gonna be a way to actually get past these mirrors later on. I'm gonna fight today, let's just check it out. He's kind of being annoying, he's following me all over the place. And it's only one of him, right? Yeah. And he's also inmate color white, uh, black I mean. Which means Seah should be doing some serious damage to him. But he also might be doing serious damage to Seah though, so... <gasps> What the absolute hell? Run! 166 <laughs> What is that? Make a run for it. What, what I do? No, another one! I didn't see it, it kind of blends in with the environment. Run! Run for a strong! What's this? Ah, at least over here, but for this one I need a way to get past the mirror. Okay, so this is for later for sure. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna get back to this island some other time. I don't think there's any point in wasting our time right now trying to do anything. It's not possible. We managed to escape it. Professionally. Ah, there's no enemies around here, so this is much more peaceful now. I can run like a man. Wait, 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 is there something over here? Oh, there is. Oh, I picked something up. I think it was iron. That's like the negative thing about running fast. You kind of tend to skip like what you picked up. Okay, so now... Now, I think... Oh, wait, first thing first, I need to go to the bathroom really quickly. Back in a moment. Actually, I actually haven't used it in a while.
Jo trebam et voltare neža? Or maybe uh, i... 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 I bu direct. I bu direct brufen. I bu direct brufen. Have you tried any of them neža? Maybe? If you haven't, maybe uh, think about it. Might be helpful, hopefully. Ah, uh, this is a special island, guys. Uh, there's... Uh, there's something gonna happen later on, I know about that. But not now, of course. But now it's still too early for anything. Ibu direct is proof and just in liquid form. Ah, right, okay. Okay, okay. That makes sense then. <laughs> I had no idea what that was, to be honest. Okay, there's nothing at, at the moment over here. It happens later on. Uh, let's go now. I should continue with the story for now. So the next part of the story is over here. Oh, uh, pull back for now because I want to save the game. I haven't saved the game in a while. I'm going to mess up accidentally. Head into the fog. So this is the, this is the ghost ship. It's actually full of ghosts. Some of the enemies over here like spawn in and out so you don't often see them where they are and then they can surprise you easily. And I remember the last boss of this place being quite difficult. Maybe not as difficult as Hydra was. And also now we are getting access to more and more uh, better spells. So while the enemies are getting stronger we are also getting access to some really good spells. Could this be the ghost ship? <laughs> yes. I'm gonna go ghost is gonna appear somewhere, right? Or not? Well, what are we waiting for? You're right. We won't be able to navigate our boat in this fog. We have to jump in. Kid was the first one that was kind of afraid of it. But now she's the first one to like. Let's go, we need to do it. Is this thing really a ghost ship? Ah, it's not a ghost ship to start with. Ah, it, yeah, it actually starts out as a pirate ship. And then it becomes a ghost ship. Okay, 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 yeah, yeah, I forgot. Who are ya? Make way for Captain Fargo. One of my favorite characters. There he is. Good old skipper. Good old pirate. Fargo. Ah, you seem to be a bit young for one of Link's subordinates. Well, who cares? What do you want from us? That's up to ya. But first thing first. What is your intention? Huh? Don't play stupid. We know you're trying to get to Mount Pyra. We saw General Viper and Link's ship anchored nearby. Are they trying to deliver them a message? Is that it? That's a load of bull. We don't work for them. We're out to get them. Get in our way and I'll kick your ass so hard you'll kiss the moons. Huh, are you serious? Explain yourself. One second. Let me see. Oh, they told you they were gonna do that, so now you're installing the game straight away. Ah, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Well, good idea then. <laughs> I see, so that explains why you're after links. But don't you know you're risking your lives? Don't you recognize the danger associated with links? He's a monster, a cold blooded monster, an incarnation of death. If I'm annoying with those discourse DMs? No, you are not. I mean, what, what do you mean annoying? You rarely send them anyway, man. Like annoying would be if you're spamming like 300 per day, like... You, you literally send one message, that's completely fine, mate. That's completely okay. To be frank with you, we had our share of encounters with links too. 
But that was a long time ago. Ever since then, we've had to disguise ourselves as this ghost ship. So we're gonna face Lynx, eh? It's easy to say, but... Kinda crap and get to the point. 60 gigabytes? How do you have the will to consistently uninstall and install, uninstall and install? I mean, I know we have better internet and it's not limited, like mine is, but... Like... Ah, oh, man. I generally only remove the games when I need space for more new games. And that you that doesn't really happen that often. I mean, it happens here. Like, if, like when Elden Ring came around, I had to uh, remove some of the games because it was a big game. Greetings, Indy. Hello, hello. How are you doing, mate? How is your weekend going? Arr, bring out you know what. I, I, Captain Fargo. How's the weekend going, Indy? I just want to see if you youngsters can catch up to the likes of Lynx. Fine, fine. Good, good. Glad to hear that. How is your Elden Ring adventure progressing, by the way? Yeah, I was just asking, huh? How, how, what is happening? How are you progressing? It's simple. They call me Mergud and Zhivchan. <laughs> Zhivchan and Mergud. <laughs> okay. Just make sure you're not all tall. Looks like they're ready. Let's see what you can do. What are you gonna do? Boss fight? You just did the two gargoyles and then turned the observatory upside down. Oh, the observatory! That's the, literally the last thing I've done as well, man. Turn the observatory upside down, and I'm actually doing it right now. Well, not right now, but like, I'm doing it. I'm at the, I'm at the same thing, yeah? Even though I'm at the end of the game, of course, but still. How did you find that mini boss inside the observatory, by the way? Like, did you do the, did you do observatory, the normal observatory? Did you, did you do that one? So why, why, what did you think about that uh, mini boss that you had to chase? Yeah, the wizard guy that you had to chase all the time. Found him a bit annoying. Yeah, I don't know if it was guy or a girl, but yeah, that one. Man, he was a bit annoying. Then the last part as well, where you have to approach him from the from the top. Oh god, took me ages to figure out that's how you have to do it. Took me a while to realize, oh, you have to climb up over there and then do it from there, okay. In terms of progression, uh, like story progression, how far in the main bosses are you, by the way? Not as annoying as those. You know what, Gargoyles? I've heard of Gargoyles being mentioned a few times already. I was doing a podcast on Elden Ring last night. And Gargoyles were mentioned? I don't remember them. I do not remember the two Gargoyles. I mean, I, I guess I've done them. Maybe I haven't. But I just can't remember. Mm. Where are they supposed to be located, those gargoyles, by the way? Where are they? Like, if you tell me that, I might remember it, but I'm just like, can't place them. I just can't place them. Okay, Paul is actually a boss fight. Paul is actually a boss fight. Nice, good start. Flop? What is that? A single target attack which deals 42 damage. 81? What the hell? Misclick. That was not supposed to go like that. So you know the underground city? Yes, when you get to the bit where the bull guys are, there's a passage where you take, just head for the jellyfishes, you feed them. And that eventually leads to the gargoyles. Are you talking about Nacron, the Eternal City, or something like that? Nacrala, Nacron? Don't remember its, its exact name. Or are we talking about some other town? Some, ad, some other underground city? That's it, but when you get to the Minotaur guys in that past the main city. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Okay. But I, I actually thought I, I actually thought I explored that area fully, but now I can see I haven't. 
Yeah, I'll get back to that eventually and finish it off as well. I don't like to leave things undone. <gasps> 207 damage? What is that? What was that shit? 207? What? We definitely have to weaken this boss. Ice Lion should be good against it. Because it's red, so blue is always good against the red. That's actually very weak. <laughs> not, not her, man. Come on. Why did you have to attack it? Okay, let's let's get Kocha back that alive. And we're also going to remove the, the red buff completely now from the battlefield, which means his next his next flap is gonna do the basic amount of damage. What do we do? We have any kind of healing? The aqua beam that might do something, but I'm still afraid of the flap. It still might do quite a bit of damage to Quasha. Is gonna die from it. I'm kind of hoping Sage is gonna be the one affected. Maybe kid survives, I don't know. Okay. No, misclick trap. I should have used the elements. Oh, it's dead before it killed me. <coughs> uh, yeah, this was not a boss fight, though. I don't think so. Just normal. Enemy. <coughs> Just a normal enemy. And Polly flies away. Ga 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 ga! Not bad, mateys. We'll meet again, is what he said. Arr, stronger than I expected. You got me blood boiling. I'm next. Oh, Fargo next, actually, guys. Oh, I forgot about the fucking fight against Fargo over here straight away. He's going, he's going to be my last test. Jolly Ho, up and at him. Okay, he's, he's blue, actually. Oh, come on, start out with a miss straight away, dudes. That's horrible. Uh, upheaval, so his blue yellow should actually do good against him, shouldn't it? And it's already two buffs of yellow, so 102? 86? Nice. A steal. I've been quite lucky with stealing recently. Maybe this one is gonna continue? Yeah, it continues. Nice, very, very cool. Ah, capsule. Of all the things I can steal, I steal a capsule. Strengthen. Ooh, that's gonna increase his physical power. Oh, that's not good. Attack temporarily increase. Uh, but I, oh, I'm gonna try out if this works on the bosses, by the way. But I reduce his hit percent. Does it work on the bosses? Oh, it does work on the bosses, actually, guys. Very, very cool. Let's have a look. Ah, come on. Oh, okay, he missed one of them. That's fine. Photon Beam plus one, let's do that. This is Photon Beam is the OP one. Photon Ray is the weaker one. And I have two of these on plus one. That's like really, really strong, guys. You cannot ask for much more, I think. 94 and then get two of them, so that's like 184. Uh, what is it? His blue. Bush Bushbasha does a lot of damage in general. Bushbasha, there's also a green buff already. Oh, not that much. Because kids' magic is really weak. Good job. Miss? Oh, he, he hasn't even attacked using the sword over there for some weird reason. Not enough? Oh, it's enough, right? Now nah, that's smart. Oh, there you go. GG, easy. I mean, these are not bosses. These, uh, these are just like mini bosses in preparation. You see, you don't even get the level up, obviously, so. Not even the boss. Not bad, but keep in mind, we be pirates. What is happening to Serge? What the hell was that? Serge! The triangulizer made from jellyfish stingers, your labial should sleep for a while. Oh! But that's not fair considering we beat both Polly and Fargo. Well, that's that.
Hello, chippy mate. Hello, hello. How fares it, my friend? How fares it? How is it going, me? Arr, stick these land lovers in the hall. How are you doing, man? Oh, there's a links. Cutscene! Cutscene alert! You know, links being the links. Fares quite well, my lad. How fares it with, with thee? It fares well with thee as well. It fares well. <laughs> it's, been a, it's been an okay day, man. Uh, nothing too much, nothing too special today. It's been a boring one. Too much rain. My football team let me down as well. So yeah, all in all, could be better, could be worse at the end of the day. But yeah, at least I'm enjoying the game, so there's that. You're right, Serge. You don't look so well. Yeah, I mean, at the same one, yesterday was a complete opposite. Yesterday was like busy beyond measurements. Today was like almost nothing, except watching football and doing like one errand in the morning. That's it. Be on your guard. There's something else outside. Yesterday, for example, went from home 8 p.m. 8 a.m. came home 9 p.m. Like one or two hours in between that. So yeah, it was a busy day to say the least. Today was a complete opposite. Can't even see the water out there. What's happening over there in the darkness? Is that the ghost ship, my friend? That's the ghost ship, my, my pirate friend. <laughs> Make a run for it. What are I die plans for the weekend? Well, weekend is already half gone. My plans tomorrow... Uh, gym, watch more football, probably go out for a walk with some of my friends, eat pancakes, and... Uh, Watch more football, and that's about it. <laughs> Play games, that's all. Continue Elden Ring, maybe try to attempt Malenia tomorrow, maybe even try to defeat her if I'm lucky. And that's it. What about you, Chippy? What you got planned tomorrow? Anything special and anything interesting? Crossbones. The Avenue Crossbones. I'm writing the Pringles can in my face. Man, Pringles used to be one of my favorite things in the world. Ever since I had those stomach issues like a few years ago, I've dropped down a lot of the things, including Pringles. I want to get back to them slowly, but I was very obsessed with Pringles. I, so I don't want to do it again because I'm going to get obsessed again. So I'm rather like controlling myself completely over that. But I do miss Pringles. Huge fan of them. Huge Pringles person back in the days. Epic stomach. Why do we have stomach issues, like, by the way? Why do we need that? Like, we don't need stomach issues. They're just in the way. Preventing us from eating whatever the hell we want. Not like that. We would rather have a perfect stomach without any issues. But I guess that's not our luck. Anyway, what are these monsters doing here? What's going on? Hey guys, we have to figure out. That's what plan just get you don't have too many plans, just get done doing some strikes on Destiny with a friend, now eating some Carolina Reaper Cheetos and Pringles and watching Inglorious Oh we're watching Inglorious Bastards! Didn't we watch that one? Uh, I think we watched it as part of the Discord movie nights like in 2021. I don't really remember when exactly, but we watched it. I think I remember that. It was very fun, very fun watching. Enjoyed it very much. And that was actually my first time seeing that movie. It was very good. Uh, that was before your time. Uh, yeah, let me double check. That was before your time, but let me double check that maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong. One moment. So movie ratings in glorious. Wait, in glorious. Did we? Hmm, maybe we didn't. No, I actually don't think we did. Mm, let me see. Ah, we didn't. We didn't. I confused it with another movie. What was the movie I actually confused it with? One second. I confused it with... Um, Where is the one? What did I confuse? Hateful Eight. I for some reason confused it with Hateful Eight. Not sure why. 
Yeah, we didn't watch it. Thank you, laddie. Thank you. Look at him paying attention to my health. Appreciate it, man. Thank you, thank you. There's a note. Key duty is a bigger responsibility, okay? Arr, I told you we're gonna see that monster went in. You think the almighty kid will go down that easy? Anyway, what the bloody hell is going on here? Ah, sorry, but I don't know either. Before I knew what was going on, I was attacked. Alright, mate, enjoy the lurk, enjoy the movie as well. In the meantime, Chippy Chan. Enjoy the movie. Always nice chat. And enjoy the luck. Two crossbones. And Sage just deals too much damage to them. <laughs> because he's white in innate color white. He just absolutely nerves them the hell out of them. I have to find the guy goes from Nocron City. Let me see. Actually, I'm not gonna check the whole video now, but I'm going to have it open for later. I'm gonna have. Actually, it's not even. It's not even watchable yet. It's being. Uh, it's being uh, sorted out because you just uploaded it now, I suppose, right? So yeah, YouTube is still actually sorting it out. <laughs> I'll have a look when it's actually uh, when YouTube finishes uh, with all its procedures. Be grateful, pirate boy. Would have been dead otherwise. Plus, you're looking like a very old person. How'd you guys get out? Get back in the hole. The sucker's mine. I'm gonna help you out, mate. I don't trust you can defeat it. You wouldn't be able to defeat the crossbones that are too strong for you, mate. Please don't miss. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was a big ass shit. That was a big ass crit over there. 140, two damage. That's a proper crit, guys. When the damage is generally low and then you notice what a crit is. That's why I don't like in the in the recent WAB expansions, for example, when you deal so much damage that you don't even know what a crit is anymore. Because you can't notice the difference between like 72,546 and like whatever bigger number. It's getting harder and harder to, not to notice the difference. It was much easier back in the days. When you were doing like 10 damage, and then you were able to easily notice the difference between 10 and 20 or 30. You know? That's quite simple to notice. I'm gonna put a meteorite over here. Oh, this guy doesn't have the key as well. Who has the key then? I know one of these guys has the key. Let me, let me try talking to him again. Okay, this guy is not in the charger key as well. No, it's locked! Oh wait, this door is actually unlocked using that key, right? Okay. Oh, it's... Oh wait, it's two of them. Bottom beam on the crossbones to get him out of the fight instantly, because I'm gonna be dealing like 150 to 170. Do we? Let me see. 168. Oh, I said 150 to 170. Perfect. There you go. Without taking any damage. Actually, no, we took damage. We took a little bit, but not too much. Oh, that was like a boss fight with the amount of stats I got. Very, very nice. Ah! Got caught again! Yeah, this is what I was telling you about this area. It's full of ghosts and they are invisible. So you can't really plan around them. Just can't. Oh, I missed some good stuff. Oh no, I'm... And this is the first time these crossbows are actually using the sword dance ability. Man. Ooh, that actually deals some serious damage by the way. Upheaval, recover, or dash and slash. Let's try to remove the braid from the fight fast. 87. You see the difference between this one and photon beam, guys? 
twice as much damage that one does. Twice as much damage. This one is so weak compared to it. Uh, I have the Magma Bone Breaker, which is one of the rare AoE spells I have. One of the only ones even. This one. It's enough to finish off the Braid at least. And deal 24 damage. Not so well, but... Whatever it was. I wanna test out my new Aqua Ball. I'm gonna test out my Aqua Ball though. 81 damage to Serge. Are you kidding with me? Let's have a look, guys. Aqua Ball is my re uh, recent acquisition and it works perfectly for Korcha, who is blue user. And. Ooh, I mean, for Korcha, that's actually quite a bit of damage, I'm gonna lie. Ah, could be, could be much better. Could be much better. What's Korcha doing, by the way? Is he defending? Is Korcha actually taking a dump over there, guys? Check him out on the left side. Check him out on the left side. He looks like he's taking a, trying to take a dump, but it's not working out. <laughs> he's such a weird character, man. He's such a weird character. Recover. And I got the iron from that fight as well. Very, very nice. Fire pillar. Ooh. It's all closed! It is all closed! Bro, that stranding director cut, at least... I, I did see that. I think uh, I, I, on, the, on the activity tab on the, on the Steam, I saw that. Are you planning on playing that now? Also, have you played it before? Have you played uh, that stranding like ever before? Or is this your first like uh, meeting with the game? I guess you haven't tried. Ah, you actually finished the main game. Ah, what do you think about it? What do you think about it? Director's cut, not director's cock. <laughs> I've just noticed what you wrote up there. It's director's cut. <laughs> <It's not that. laughs> Jesus Christ. What are you doing to me? It's not his cut. Uh, you played it and you loved it. Okay, okay, that's good. I've only seen the, the videos of that. I just, I don't know. Maybe I would like to play it. I just, watching the videos doesn't seem like I would like it, but who knows? I have to try it out eventually. Is it truly walking similar? Like people say, yeah, plenty of people say that. And the videos I've watched, the streams I've watched make it look like that as well. But maybe it's more about enjoying. Maybe it's like if you, if you, if you actually look at it that way but you actually enjoy the walking simulators then you will you will you, you will find you will find fun in it i guess but like I, when i was watching it I'm, i was like yeah it's not for me it's not for me but who knows i'm gonna maybe give it a chance one day and go from there maybe i don't know not really on top of my list i feel like i would enjoy but i've seen so much hate towards it yeah don't listen to that man don't listen to that I, I've, I've heard from some people like Indy just now, Chris also absolutely loved it. Another friend of mine, Silver, played it, loved it as well. Plenty of people absolutely enjoy the heck out of that game. I, I like to think that most of the people who say this, the game sucks and whatnot, haven't actually played it, like myself. Like, I know I say, like, the game is not, only, you know, it's like, I wouldn't enjoy it, but I've never played it, so... I, don't, I didn't get to experience it. Yeah, of course, Norman Reedus as well, obviously. Give it a go if you ever get the, if you ever get the game on a good price. Why not? Why not? Okay, I think this is the last pirate we had to free. Actually, they're implementing third person in a cyberpunk now. Oh, you mean like third person view? It's actually cool. Why, why wouldn't, like, why didn't they do that earlier and why are they doing it now? Is there, like, a special reason behind that? Kind of, like, that's the kind of thing you will implement on the release of the game, right? Not, like, one year afterwards. 
Would it be interesting if I recorded my daily war from grind on new account? Why not? Why not Cypher give it a go, man? It's kind of like Euro Truck Simulator, but you have to build all the roads. Definitely doing deliveries is a big part. But there are bandits and weird ghosts like things to avoid. And the plot is very surreal. You kill someone and, dis and don't dispose of the body, it actually goes nuclear. Wait, what? <laughs> what is actually crazy? Wait, this guy doesn't have the key as well. What do you mean? Who has the key then? Okay, I managed to get this one out without fighting it. If you die, you go into this weird star life thing which in which you can swim around before being reborn. I thought this was a realistic game though. That doesn't sound very realistic. I thought it was like full about re realism. Yeah, it sounds eerie and dope, yeah. I was under the impression it's a full-on real realistic game. I mean, as realistic as a game can be in a way, of course, there's gonna be some things which are weird, but... I didn't think it's like that. Oh, there's four of these, y'all. Are you kidding me? There's so many of them. Where would you even record that cipher? Like, you mean on the on the YouTube account, or what would like what would your plan be? It is very realistic, but it's like mm, I don't know, it's a real tool. All right, okay, okay. Well, interesting regardless. Very interesting. Like I said, I've talked with few people who actually played the game, finished it. Most of them liked it. Most of them liked it. So it must be like a good game if quite a few people are, are liking it at the end of the day, you know. It's not a crap game for sure. Just maybe not a, not everyone's taste, of course. You know? Which is fair thing. Like adds new roads you can build, new vehicles as well. Okay, so create makes it even more of a building simulation in a way. not dying. Why is Serge attacking this one then? Oh Serge my friend. Seriously. Why why do you miss Serginho? Nice and I'll just finish it off. But there are people who did not like it or those who decided it was a walking simulator and gave up the tutorial section and refunded it after two hours. Yeah, that's, that's what I was saying before. So most of the people who didn't like it are most likely people who either haven't played it or people who maybe like just gave up after like an hour. And that's about the I stand in that camp. I haven't played it and all I'm basing that is on watching it and thinking it might be not up to my taste. But again, if I gave it a go, then my, my look on it might change drastically. Who knows? Like, who knows? Does this guy have a key? Who is in charge of the key then, you? You love to play your track simulator and have it all set up with like the steering wheel and just sit there with the track. Have you ever played a game with the steering wheel? I have never played that. I would love to do that eventually though. Play the game with the steering wheel. I've never been able to, never had it even. Yeah, I get the feel of the game, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. It would be very, very interesting for sure. Are oh, you actually played as a kid? Nice! It is like very realistic, is it very responsive? But my thing with that is always like how responsive it is, like does it respond in real time or is there like a delay or things like that? Driver 3 with a steering wheel, oh driver was great. Driver 2 back on the street I think was my favorite. You can also carry a fetus in like an aquarium or on your spacesuit you wear which allows you to detect the ghost or something. Wait, so you carry a fetus which allows you to, de to detect ghosts? What? Well, how does that make any sense? What does fetus have to do with detecting ghosts? <laughs> makes no sense. Weird. Do you not have the key, my friend? Nobody has the key, apparently, over here. I don't know who is carrying it at the end. Same that game heard you now years later, but apparently people are 
No, driver, no, the whole driver franchise was like very enjoyable. When I was growing up, I quite enjoyed it. It was actually a bit too hard sometimes for a new player, especially back then, without access to all the internet stuff. Like in general, driver was, for me, very enjoyable. Always enjoyed that game. Makes no sense, but it's all our other glories. All right, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, look at the damage I'm dealing with photon beam, guys. It's so sweet. And then kid starts. Oh, come on, kiddo. You really enjoy those secrets, guys. You have to find them in the game and kill. And you get some special weapon. I'll be honest, I don't remember that, but I trust it was very enjoyable. It's but it's been a long time. You know what I also liked about Driver? Just a silly thing. But they, all, they always made like a great cover for the games. You know, because back then you would generally buy the game in the physical editions and Driver games also had a great cover, like always. They really put a lot of work to make that look really, really cool. Just kind of enjoy that. Like it's a small thing, but I always kind of appreciate when developers you know, put work in that as well. The world will get manufactured to allow their vehicles to be in if they were shown to be realistic, worse than other makers' vehicles. But it's great fun, very chill game. Well, I imagine most of the games like that where you can, you know, steer with your wheel would be good fun and very chill. I mean, maybe not like the racing games where the goal is to finish first, I guess. But most of I guess. Oh my god, man, I hate these enemies. I fight you, and I... I watched some video about like top bad GTA copies and they talked about Driver 3. Wait, they actually included Driver 3 as top bad GTA copies? Who actually makes those lists? It, no, it's probably people who again haven't really played that game when it was supposed to be played, I suppose. Yeah, it's kind of easy to shit on the game when you play that about after 15 years. Because then everything looks kind of clunky and weird and the graphics are bad and this or that. You can only truly appreciate a game if you played it when it was supposed to be played. At least when the older games, like these newer games, I think... Uh, these newer games might be more appreciated later on because they, they look and feel great even now. Because you know, the, 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 the possibilities are endless. Back then the possibilities were very limited. So you had to do with what you had. No, GTA was not a copy of Driver. Well, wasn't GTA before Driver? Could be wrong. It's been a long time. GTA, like the first GTA games came out a long time ago. If I'm not mistaken. Maybe the first Driver came before GTA? I don't know now. It's been a long time. You really enjoy driving around in Miami as some I think you were an undercover cop. One of the best game trailers ever. Groovy and shows exactly what you get in the game. I'm actually I'm actually gonna open it up and check it out later. I'm gonna check it out later. And I think your video has uploaded by now as well, I believe. Let me see. Yeah it has, okay. I'll have a look at that later as well. Yeah, I don't know. It really annoys me when people shit on the older game just because of reasons. Awesome, I really enjoy just driving around, you know. Yeah. I can never mind check that before, but yeah. I don't know. Enjoy, enjoy the games for what they are. Don't shit out them for no reason. How do I... Am I not able to unlock it using the key? Wait, didn't they give me the key? What the hell? Manor key, heavy skull, big egg. Wait, wait, wait. What, what the hell is my new key? Interesting. I guess the new key can only be used uh, on the uh, on few specific areas. It's locked. This one is locked as well. Ah, so it, it can only be used over here. Huh? You also play Driver Parallel Lines? Never played that myself. Have you even bought it on Steam once? Never played that myself. Is it like a normal Driver game? Or what, what is that? I mean, Parallel Lines kind of makes me think it's nothing like a normal driver game, but not no idea what it is, to be honest.
It's like the, in the 80s. Ah, so it's like the normal one driver game set in the 80s. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Okay. Is that like an old game still or is that something slightly newer? Yeah, I can check it out later. Thank you. Thank you. Old, very old. The name of Davy Jones. I can't believe you made that. That's not that old. That's like 2007. <laughs> I was like, you're gonna say 1997. Unbelievable. That's not that old. I was 16 then. 16. I mean, yeah, it, it, it is old. Yeah, but not that old. I was 16 in 2007. My second year of high school, I remember. Couldn't imagine a 16. Oh man. I had some bad haircuts, let's put like the horrible haircuts. Not even good bad, just bad bad. That's one thing I remember from those times. You were a lot older than 16. How old was Chippy at, at 2007? Chippy was... Nine? Eight to ten Chippy, right? You were like between eight or ten, right? If I'm not mistaken. Something like that. You're seven years older than old man Turbo is now. So you're 38 then, okay. The best years. No, that's been an after month. No, it's one of those lazy haircuts. I, I didn't care about hair, but I still like kind of like to grow it slightly. So it was just kind of weird looking, you know. I'll show you the picture eventually once I feel secure about showing those kind of pictures. Right now I'm still like in the process of not wanting to share that because it's weird. <laughs> Not like them too much. <laughs> hey, I'm not that old. What are you talking about? Only three one. Oh, guys, there's Pip. You remember Pip? We, re we, re we actually rescued him in Lucia's laboratory. Lucia's laboratory. Live the smartest boy you ever seen. Let's actually run away from this one. I don't think they will follow me for too long. Oh crap, this is a bad idea. Ah! Pull them. I might as well kill them, I suppose. They will just follow me around and make life miserable for me. Died from these attacks. Come on, how many attacks do you guys can you survive? Come on, Korcha, good job. Good job, Korcha, in his under underwear. <laughs> I don't know why he's not wearing something else on top of that. Why is he in the freaking underwear? I don't get it. Korcha has always been the weird guy of the party, I guess. You see, there's only one of them now. The, the last time I engaged the very same enemy, there's, there were three of them. Now it's only one of them. Very, very cool. <laughs> so that's the last of them. Ah! Couldn't avoid him. He's making circles around and have to pick up my chest. Ah, there's two of them, that's fine. One of them dies from two major attacks, right? Unless I miss. Good. And the second one dies from the photon beam straight away. Ah, he actually does... Oh, he missed! I was just going to say he actually managed to do damage to me, but he missed at the end. Very good. <laughs> Goodbye, my friend. 
163, man. By the end of the game, I'll be dealing like a thousand damage with this attack <laughs> when I'm like level 40, 50. And also, this area is giving me so much iron, by the way. So, so much iron. It's incredible how much I've, g I've gotten. Also, where is Pip, by the way? Is he here? Uh huh. Hello, Pip boy. Why do you keep approaching me? Can't you see I'm hiding? You wanna know why I'm here? I'm a stone where I wanted desperately to see the sea. When I woke up, there were monsters all over the pass. Pass. We were scared me. <laughs> I want to see the world because all my life <laughs> I've been fucked up in a vab. Can you broaden my view of the world? Yeah, okay, whatever. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not really gonna use Pip, I think. <clears throat> Actually, I'll check out his stats. Let me see his stats. Where is Pip? He's got really high agility, like one of the highest agility in the game, except Greco. Uh, sorry, except Mojo. Which means he's gonna be able to avoid many attacks. But for now, he's gonna have to wait. Gravitone. Okay, that's a really good black spell, I believe. Photon Beam, another one. Another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. Another one. Another one. Another one bites the dust. Is a boss fight upstairs, right? I'm mistaken. Just in time, Matis! Look out! Something is coming our way. <laughs> it's the normal rate. Come on, guys, seriously. I need a bigger challenge than that. Crit? Ah! No crits. Good job, kiddo. Good job! You call yourself Sirog? Show some spirit. Huh? Captain, look out! Damn, mateys, go help the captain! Well, let's see what the captain is up to, guys. Someone is harassing him. Get your stinking ghostly hands off me! Look at that strength. Farag is gonna be a welcome addition to my team. Arr, looks like we got a big one coming. <clears throat> oh, Fargo is hit. Fargo is down. He can't take it anymore. It's got to be us to protect him. Damn, me arm. It's alright, Cappy, we got you. You never says, right? Go take the wheel. Aye, aye, Captain. I'm counting on you, matey. I, I don't remember the boss fight. Keep your hands high, matey. Don't forget we were pirates abroad, SS Invincible. Man, you're stationed. It's time to show these monsters what we're made of. Aye, aye, Cap. Uh, what boss? I don't remember the boss of this area now. Boy, which one is it? It is who? Oh. Uh, they're gonna. I know they're gonna transform to big one. I know that. It's gonna be a big, big, gooey oglop monster in a way. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that beauty, guys. Just what would what you want to see when you're know, waking up, right? It's black, right? Yes. Which means it's gonna be taking so much more damage from my white abilities. Not if I start out by missing. That's kind of bad, but. He's gonna be taking so much damage even from this normal photo beam. Check this out. 127. Oh! Almost! Oh my god, I just a random number. I was one off! I was literally one off! Oh my god! Incredible! Absolutely incredible! Wow! I said 127, it was 126. That's order, what's that? <laughs> Is that like blind? Looks like looks like some kind of a blind, I suppose, right? I can reduce my chance of hit, I suppose, maybe, or something like that. I'm gonna reduce his chance to hit as well. <laughs> and it doesn't really work that well on the spells, but whatever. It doesn't work at all on the spells. Yeah, 
Yeah, look at that, definitely makes the spells... I mean, makes my melee attacks much more susceptible to this is unfortunate. Ah, he doesn't seem to care about that though. He just keeps on going. Uh, it's not bush basher. If there's a buff already for bush basher, I might as well try it. Ah, oh, come on! When I was using bush basher on stage, it was dealing like up to 100 damage. Now it's so good. 21. I know kids' magic is really weak, but that weak, you know? Uh, do I have any white? Oh, I have the white one. Okay, that's what I wanted to do. Photon ray. Build up for Sage's next attack. Imbecile is the one that uh, in reduces or increases damage taken. Our magical attack temporarily? Okay. Not sure if it can be decreased any lower because he doesn't do anything anyway. Okay. Fifty-four. Oh my! Oh my God! He would have been almost dead if that if that went through. Um, I guess I go with the dash and slash to start with, and hope he doesn't do much in the next turn or two. I, was, I really want to use the 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 photon beam when he's got. Oh, it's already weakened. Mine might not have, might not even be necessary. Ah, uh, he's gonna remove one of my white spells from the battlefield. Mm, it's only gonna be one remaining, sadly. Unless I have some white spell over here, and I do not, sadly. And I don't wanna use anything else because I'm gonna break it, unfortunately. Is it dead? Oh, it's a dark, dark bread on Kiro. 41 damage, that's fine. Okay, Sash, finish it off now, my friend. One. He's dead. <laughs> I didn't even have the chance to use my second form on beam. Shame. <clears throat> <clears throat> Dingaroni! Eleven. HP, strength, magic. HP, strength, magic, magic, resistance. Oh, come on, Korcha. Only HP. The other thing about Death Stranding is that it's multiplayer, okay? In that stuff you build a piece in the world. Oh yeah, I do know about that, I've heard about that. Of other players you can be in contact when, with when dead, and you can maintain other player stuff. All of these earns you li likes, which are a bit like souls. Ah, okay, okay, I didn't actually know it, it earns you anything from that. I just thought it was a way to, you know, build across player base, you know, build for everyone else, you know, things like that. Looks like the sea is back to normal. You said you were heading to Fort Dragonia to go after Viper and his men. Let me give you some advice. Mount Pyre is a fairy hell. Without any protection against fire, you will lose strength fast. I suggest you go see the Water Dragon for his divine protection first. Although I haven't heard much about him recently. I wonder if that dragon is still alive. Well, he's not, guys. We're gonna go through alternate dimension. Actually, I haven't heard much about the other dragons either. And those monsters who just beat, what's going on nowadays? I tell ya, even the sea seems to have changed in its nature. It's probably because we humans folks have come around. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I don't need this mushy talk from a pirate. <laughs> in the name of David Jones, what have we done? <laughs> yeah, kind of a weird laugh as well. <laughs> Alright guys, the boat is finished. Now, we can, we can go to pirate, but that's not worth it. So the next thing we do actually... What is this by the way, I forgot. Can you even go here? Ah, you can't go here. I know later on this is going to be like, you can go there. So for, for us, the next goal is to make our way to Water Dragon Isle. I, that much I do know. But wait, um... Uh huh, uh... Okay, we go... No, not to Arne Village, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, we go to other world. But I wanna do the boss in the marsh first. The one that I did and failed on the last attempt. The Marlboro looking guy. Don't remember his name to be honest. The one that spews shit. <clears throat> I 
Five squats, Cindy? All right, give me a second. Give me a second, mate. Let me just get to the point where I wanna do. Oh my God, seriously. Really? <laughs> really? 15 squats for the end of the night, right? Right, just for the end of the stream to do 15 squats, love it. Alright, that's gonna be it when it comes to the game at least. That is going to be it when it comes to the game. Ah, no, I'm gonna give you the Winterheart back in the... You can redeem that on the 